Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Konoha. There is a Kagaya in the body. Chapter 81. Inside the Forest of Death. Hayuga Setsuna and Kakashi walked recklessly in the dark death forest. The two of them did not hide their figures as soon as they entered like other ninjas. The two walked leisurely in the forest as if returning to their own home. He seemed very calm and composed. Suddenly, Hinata turned his head and looked at the forest not far away, and said with a smile on the corner of his mouth. The fish is hooked. Hearing this, Kakashi walked towards the dark forest ahead, and said with an eager look on his face covered by the mask. Then give them to me. During this month, Kakashi has been training hard. In the daytime, he and Maidakai conduct gymnastics confrontation training, and in the evening, he trains in knife skills alone, and the time for sleep and rest is only less than five hours. The sky suddenly became gloomy at some point, and the sky was covered with dark clouds, as if this place was a Jedi. A drizzle of drizzle began to fall from the sky, and after a while the entire death forest was wetted by the rain. PFF. Bang. Kakashi expressionlessly pulled out the dagger that pierced into the enemy's body, letting the rain wash away the bright red blood on Snow White's body. Hayuga Setsuna took out the scroll from the fallen ninja and looked at it, shook his head, and said helplessly. It's the scroll of heaven again. Is the luck of the two of us a bit unlucky today? It has been three or four hours since the two of them entered the death forest, and because of Hinata Setsuna's words in the examination room before. As a result, the fish were frantically looking for the positions of Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi. So far, there are about three teams of ninja candidates who died in the hands of the two of them. Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi thought they could pass the exam quickly, but they didn't know if it was because they were cursed by the goddess of luck, or they simply memorized it. The scrolls obtained so far are exactly the same as the scrolls they randomly distributed, all of them are scrolls of heaven. Kakashi retracted the dagger into the scabbard and said. Why don't we take the initiative to find them? If this continues, I feel that with our luck, the people who will come to us will be holding the scroll of heaven. Apparently, Kakashi also felt that their luck today was a little too much. Hearing this, Hayuga Setsuna nodded helplessly, opened the white eyes of his eyes, and saw the team of ninja candidates holding the earth scroll in the death forest. Suddenly, Hinata Setsuna seemed to have discovered something, and a strange look appeared on his face. In the deep and silent forest of death. Ah. A shrill scream suddenly sounded, startling countless resting birds in the forest. Hey, how is Yuntian? Are you all right? A ninja with the forehead of Taki Ninja Village on his head looked at the thick fog around him vigilantly, and asked loudly about the situation of his companions. At this time, the rainwater falling from the sky suddenly turned into countless sharp thousands of water needles, piercing the tacky shinobi into a blood hedgehog, and the bright red blood slowly flowed out from his body, soaking the ground with the falling rainwater. The fog that shrouded the forest began to dissipate, and two tall and thin figures walked out of it. A young man with disheveled hair and looking very sloppy complained loudly. What? It's actually a ninja from Longan village. I thought it was from the other four great ninja villages. What a waste of effort. After that, he put down his rain-drenched hair and covered his left eye, with a cruel smile on his face, humming an inexplicable song. Beside him, a middle-aged man with gold-rimmed glasses and a very clean and tidy face said in a deep voice as if he was accustomed to his behavior. Kui Yupo, stop complaining. This is Muya village, not our Yuyan village. Don't be too presumptuous. If that adult finds out, you will be finished. After speaking, he turned and left, and his thin figure quickly disappeared into the hazy rain. On the spot, the ninja named Kui Yupo lowered his head heavily. Suddenly he raised his head abruptly, his face was full of excitement, his eyes were bloodshot, he stretched out his thin tongue and licked the corner of his mouth, looking at the figure that disappeared in the rain, he said. Yulong, Sooner or later I will let you experience the feeling that life is worse than death. Hee <laughs> hee. In the forest, a teenager with wet hair is accompanied by a pure white ninja dog that reaches his waist height, with some purple paint on his face as an embellishment. Under the gloomy sky, the dead forest was shrouded in rain. And the strong smell of blood mixed in the rain, of course, couldn't be concealed from Inazukatsu and his ninja dog Akadoka. Inazuka Su took out Kanai from his ninja tool bag and looked around vigilantly, his ninja dog Akamata was also leaning over to be vigilant. Originally, 
He was walking with the team to look for the scrolls, but he got separated because of a large-scale fog, and now he has only the ninja dog Akadoka by his side. Looking at Akamato who was a little impatient because of the strong smell of blood, Inazukatsu decided to leave this place immediately. He always felt that there was something wrong with this place. Just when he thought that he hadn't gone far ahead, Kaiyuan beside him suddenly cried out, his eyes staring fiercely not far ahead. Inazukatsu, who had been with Akamato for many years, immediately reacted, and looked forward vigilantly with his hand in his hand. This is. What came into view were three corpses in a very miserable state of death. Judging from the forehead guards on their heads, they should belong to Sao Ren village. The strong smell of blood that kept lingering in his nose almost made Inazuka vomit, and he cautiously walked back slowly with Chiyuan. At this moment, several piercing sounds suddenly sounded in his ears. Whizzing. Hearing the sound of breaking through the sky, Inazuka Su hurriedly shouted. Chiyuan, dodge quickly. Wong Wong Wong. One person and one dog dodged backwards one after another. Ding ding ding. I saw dense noises coming from his original position. Looking at the original position, Inazuka Su couldn't help breaking out in cold sweat. The transparent shapes formed by the rain are hidden in the rain curtain, densely inserted in their original positions. Suddenly, Chiyuan looked at a big tree with a vigilant expression, the hair all over his body exploded, and he kept roaring in his mouth. From the back of the thick tree, a sharp voice sounded. He escaped. It should be said that he is a ninja trained by Da Nin village. Inazukatsu glanced at the forehead guard on his body, and said in a deep voice. You are a ninja from Yuyin village. You were the one who did the three corpses in Grass Ninja village. Hey, that's right. I did it, now it's your turn. Kona has brat. Kui Yupo jumped down from the big tree, stared at a person and a dog with bloodshot eyes, and said with a cruel smile on her face. In the forest of death. Hey. Hey. The two figures were moving forward at a fast speed in the forest, Kakashi turned his head and asked. In an instant, you saw the target. Pushing away the rain-soaked hair on his forehead, Hinata Setsuna opened the white eyes of his eyes, and said softly. Well, we found the examinee who holds the scroll of the land, and if we make it in time, we might be able to save the ninja from the Inazuka family. The Inazuka clan. He's the only one. Did he get separated from his teammates? Looking at the current situation, he is indeed separated from his teammates. Kakashi's face was serious. In the examination room, he saw the boy with a ninja dog beside him. Although his strength was not very strong, it was more than enough to pass the exam with the help of a ninja dog. He did not expect to pass the exam so quickly. Life is in danger. In the dead forest shrouded in rain. Who? Who? Inazukatsu half kneeled on the ground, gasping for breath, his whole body was covered with wounds from the sharp chimoto, and the bright red blood fell into the ground with rainwater and turned into bloody water. Kai Yuan beside him was also covered with hideous scars all over his body, and collapsed on the ground dying, with weak whimpers constantly coming from his mouth. On the open space not far in front of Inazukatsu, Kui Yupo said with a playful look in the only right eye that was exposed. Little Konoha, why don't you continue to bring your puppy and continue to attack? If you only have this ability, then you are not qualified to live. After all, Kui Yupo stretched out her sharp tongue and licked her lips. Inazuka gasped heavily, clenched his fists, staggered to his feet, and said. Kai. Chiyuan is not as simple as a puppy, he is my unique partner. Hearing his words, Kui Yupo's face froze for a moment, and then a perverted sharp laugh sounded from his mouth. Ha ha ha. Little devil, you actually regard a puppy as your partner, this really makes people laugh out loud. Little devil, I have decided. I will write about you and this dog in my little book. Let it become a toy that can be taken out to make me laugh when I am unhappy. Looking at Aoi Yupo who insulted Akadoka, Inazukatsu's face was full of anger, this guy who dared to laugh at his relationship with Akadoka's partner, he must kill with his own hands. Looking at Chimato who was powerlessly collapsed next to him, Inazukatsu's eyes flashed with determination, and his hands quickly formed seals. Tooth. I saw Inazuka Su's body began to spin at high speed on the spot, as if turning into a great tornado and rushing towards Kui Yupo. Originally, Inazukatsu should have Akamato follow him to perform a full tooth-to-tooth. -tooth. 
But when he saw Chiyuan lying on the ground with scars all over his body, Inazukatsu decided to protect his partner. The gray-white high-speed rotating tornado carried violent wind pressure and rushed towards Kuiyupo. The rain in the sky fell on the tornado and was immediately torn and dissipated. Looking at the gray-white tornado coming towards him, Kuiyupo's face was full of madness. He opened his arms, trying to resist this move. Boom. In an instant, Kuiyupo's figure flew straight out as if hit by a shell. Inazukatsu stopped gritting his teeth, and collapsed on the ground, with a puzzled look in his eyes, looking at the place where Kuiyupo was knocked out. The moment he hit Kuiyupo just now, the touch was as slippery as rainwater, without any physical feeling at all. Half a minute later, under Inazukatsu's desperate gaze, Kuiyupo slowly walked out of the forest unharmed. Looking at Inazukatsu who collapsed on the ground, Aoi Yupo stretched out her thin tongue and slid across her lips, and said teasingly. Little devil, that just now is just my water body. You don't think that I will really take your attack hard. Although your attack just now can't kill me, it will still make me hurt for a long time. I am very afraid of pain. Seeing Inazukatsu's look of despair, Kui Yupo's eyes flashed with excitement, and said. Okay. Kid, then I will bestow death on you myself. After all, Kui Yupo started to make mudras with both hands, but he did it very slowly, as if he was playing with Inazuka. After a while, Kui Yupo's face was full of madness, and she raised her hands and swung them down violently. Water escape thousand thorn killing technique. In an instant, the rainwater around Inazukatsu and Akamato turned into transparent chimotos that shone with sharp edges. Whoosh. 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 Chinbin, who was all over the sky, floated in the air and shot at the person and dog who were collapsed on the ground. Inazukatsu's dark pupils reflected the countless and thousands of shots coming, and the corner of his mouth couldn't help showing a wry smile and a look of relief. I'm really unhappy. Looks like my chunin exam will end here. I'm just a little sorry for Long Yi, I clearly agreed to pass the chunin exam together, but it turned out that I missed the appointment. And Chiyuan, it's all because of me that it. At the moment of his death, Inazuka Su's mind was full of his family, teammates and Akadoka. He gently closed his eyes, preparing for his imminent death. Countless transparent thousand roots finally arrived in front of him and Chiyuan, and quickly pierced them. At this time, an anxious voice suddenly sounded, accompanied by the countless parasites. Tianjin. Secret Art Insect Wall Art. I saw countless parasites rushing out from the hands of a man wearing sunglasses in the distance. They continuously rotated at high speed to form a solid black barrier, resisting all the falling thousand books. Inazukatsu opened his eyes, with surprise in his eyes, and shouted while looking at the man in sunglasses not far away. Long Yi. The figure of the oily girl Long Yi quickly came to his side, and said expressionlessly. Jin, what were you doing just now? Are you waiting to die? Didn't you agree to pass the Chunin exam together? The oily girl Long Yi, who usually doesn't talk much, now speaks like a machine gun. Inazukatsu, who collapsed on the ground, cursed with a wry smile. I just let the opponent relax. So that I can win with one blow. Looking at the stubborn Inazukatsu in front of him, the oily girl Ryuiki didn't speak, but waved her hand to summon the bad bug to her side again. Not far away. Kui Yupo licked her lips with a look of disappointment on her face, and said. It's a pity that I didn't kill you. It was so hard to let you and your teammates disperse, and I wanted to kill you one by one. I didn't expect you to find it. The oily girl Long Yi said with a blank expression on her face wearing sunglasses. It's not that easy to separate us easily. Inazuka Su lay prone on the ground, panting slightly with vigilance in his eyes, and said. Long Yi, be careful, this guy is very strong. The oil girl Long Yi didn't reply, but just controlled countless parasites to rush towards Kui Yupo. Suddenly, a curtain of rainwater rose up in front of the parasites, blocking their way. Around Yu Yu Ryuiki and Inazukatsu, the rain quickly condensed and turned into thick and long water spears that suddenly appeared from the rain curtain, directly piercing them. Although they detected the danger in advance and avoided it, they also penetrated the shoulders of the two and firmly nailed them to the ground. Woo. Woo. The painful cries of the two made Kui Yupo not far away very excited, but soon he spoke dissatisfiedly. Yulong, why did you intervene? These two brats are my prey. 
Yulong walked out of the rain curtain, with a warning look in his eyes, and reprimanded him coldly. Kui Yupo, this is Muya village, hurry up and get rid of these two brats. Ah. Hearing Yulong's reprimand, Kui Yupo just sneered and took out Kanai from the ninja bag, ready to step forward and kill the two little ghosts from Konoha. Lay done, go. At the same time, Kakashi's figure suddenly appeared not far away, pressing his hands to the ground, and the blue lightning mixed with the rain on the ground rushed towards the two of them. On the other side, Hinata Setsuna appeared next to Inazukatsu and Yuyu Ryuaiki, with chakra flames burning on both hands, and pulled out the spear that rain turned into. The scarred Inazuka Su looked at the figure in front of him in surprise and said. You are Setsuna Hinata. Hinata Setsuna helped the two of them up, brought them to a safe place, and said. You know me. Of course, you and Kakashi are called geniuses in the village. When the excited Inazukatsu wanted to say something, Kakashi appeared and said in a concentrated voice. Setsuna, there's something wrong with those two guys from Yuyan village, their strength doesn't look like they're here to take the Chunin exam. I just observed with supercilious eyes, the chakra in both of them are at the level of Junin. Speaking of this, Hinata Setsuna's voice paused, and said with a teasing tone in his words. Kakashi, which one are you going to choose this time? Don't make the wrong choice like last time. Embarrassment flashed across Kakashi's face under the mask, he didn't speak, but rushed towards Aoi Yupo. Inazukatsu and Yunblong said with worried expressions on their faces. Can you two handle them? Hearing this, Hinata Setsuna turned her head slightly, revealing her delicate jaw and side face, and said. Relax. After all, Hayuga Setsuna's figure disappeared in an instant, and rushed towards Yulong. Not far away, Kakashi walked forward with cold eyes, the snow in his hand rubbed violently in the air, and seemed to make a crisp sound. Kui Yupo licked the corner of her mouth excitedly and said. Hey, here are two cute little ghosts again, let me love you well from now on. After finishing speaking, the surrounding rain began to gather on his arm, turning into a sharp water blade. On the other side, Hayuga Setsuna used his soft fist to push Yulong back. Yulong looked at the white eyes in Hinata Setsuna's eyes, and murmured. Hayuga clan, I don't know if he will be happy to hand over your white eyes to that adult. Hinata Setsuna's eyes narrowed slightly, that lord. Could it be that guy Hanzo? But Hanzo has the guts to send people to attack the ninjas in Konoha village. Shamo, you have to be careful, the power in this human body can control the blood, according to human terms, it is the limit of blood succession. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya sounded a reminder. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's reminder, Hinata Setsuna looked at Yulong in surprise. The limit of the blood succession that manipulates the blood. This ability seems to be related to the exiled family of Shuelongyan. Seeing Setsuna Hinata with a surprised expression, Yulong looked at the white eyes in his eyes and said. Do you see that I have the blood succession limit? But it doesn't matter, I will accept the white eyes in your eyes. After all, he waved his hands forward violently. Ninja Law, Rain and Do Thousand Skills. The dense rainwater that fell in the sky suddenly condensed and turned into countless sharp thorns, which shot towards Hanata Setsuna as if covering the sky and covering the sun. Looking at the attacking Chimoto, Hanata Setsuna's body spun on the spot at high speed, forming a hemispherical blue shield, firmly protecting herself in it. Bagwazong Huishin. With the formation of Huishin, countless thousands of books also fell on the shield. Ding. 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 The sound of collisions kept ringing out, and Hinata Setsuna was in the middle of the sky, unscathed. Seeing that his attack was blocked, Yulong's face was indifferent, and his hands were sealed. Ninja method, the art of manipulating blood. As his voice fell, Hinata Setsuna suddenly felt the blood all over his body boil like magma. PFF. There seemed to be a sudden wound on his shoulder, and bright red blood flowed out of it suddenly, even bleeding very fast. It was as if the blood in his body had life at this moment, constantly struggling to flow out from the blood vessels and skin. Feeling the blood boiling in his body, Hinata Setsuna's eyes sank for a moment, and he clasped his hands together, the chakra in his body suddenly surged, cooperating with his white eyes to suppress the power in his body. But even if it was forcibly suppressed, that force was still affecting Hinata Setsuna's chakra. Feeling the power of being suppressed, Yulong said. 
Now the chakra in your body is used to suppress the boiling blood, how can you avoid my next blow? Give me the white eyes in your eyes obediently. After all, he performed the ninjutsu he had prepared. Water escape water dragon ball technique. In the current rainy environment, he doesn't even need to consume too much chakra, the water dragon bomb has already formed quickly. Looking at the attacking water dragon, Hinata Setsuna said coldly. It's your blood inheritance limit that makes you think that you can suppress me 100%. After that, chakra ignited in his hands, turned into two ferocious lion heads, and punched forward fiercely to disperse the attacking water dragon. Looking at the lion head transformed into chakra in Hinata Setsuna's hands, Yulong said with disbelief in his eyes. How is it possible? Isn't all the chakra in your body used to suppress those boiling blood? Why can you still use it? Hearing this, Hayuga Setsuna's figure disappeared in an instant, and appeared next to Yulong, posing with a soft fist, and said indifferently. Because my chakra is above yours. Hearing Hinata Setsuna's words, Yulong's first reaction was that it was impossible, absolutely impossible. You must know that it is very simple to break the limit of his blood inheritance, as long as chakra is stronger than him, you can easily break the boiling blood. But this kid from the Hayuga family in front of him looks only five or six years old, so how could the chakra in his body be stronger than Yulong? Unless he's a monster. Suddenly, an invisible wave locked on Yulong, causing his body to freeze suddenly. Soft fist technique Bagua 64 palms. Got it. Looking at the shadows of palms coming towards him, Yulong took out Kuwu and cut his wrist with an ugly expression, clasped his hands together and slapped him violently. Secret Art Bloodwater Shield. Boom. Immediately, the blood flowing from the wound on his wrist began to mix with the rainwater to form blood water, which turned into a round bloody sphere to firmly protect him. Feeling the soft touch of hitting the blood shield, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed with disgust, and the figure jumped back, saying in a low voice. Grandmother lend me a little bit of your strength. In the confined space, Kagaya Otsutsuki, who was sitting in the palace board, burst out of chakra after listening to it, and rushed into Setsuna Hinata's body following some mysterious connection. Feeling the connection between himself and Hinata Setsuna, Itsuki Kagaya said with a joyful look on his face. Shamo, I am finally willing to use my concubine's power. After finishing speaking, she thought about it for a while, and added a little more strength to go in, not much, just a little bit. And the golden power surrounding the restricted space did nothing, as long as Otsutsuki Kagaya did not escape from prison, it would not care about anything else. In the blood shield, Yulong knelt down on the ground with a pale face, and said with a look of horror in his words. It's not right, it's not right, that white-eyed kid is completely wrong. How could there be such a monster? No, I have to go back to Yuyan village and tell that lord. As long as that adult makes a move, this brat will never survive. Outside, Hinata Setsuna suddenly let out a muffled snort, and now his body is filled with the power sent by Kagaya Otsutsuki. Call. Hinata Setsuna took a deep breath, trying to calm down the majestic power in his body, and said. Grandma, how much strength have you given me? The concubine gave me a little bit. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kagaya argued seriously. Grandma, your little bit of strength almost kills me. Hinata's eyes froze for a moment, and he began to mobilize the huge power in his body, and white flames blazed around his body. The original light blue chakra turned into pure white like moonlight at this time, and the fierce pure white lion head condensed in his hand. Hayuga Setsuna's figure disappeared from the spot in an instant, and the rock formations on the ground collapsed and sunken as if they couldn't bear the pressure. Soft step double lion fist. PFF. I saw that the hand with the pure white lion's head pierced through the bloody shield fiercely, and Yulong who was hiding inside was also pierced fiercely. Ah, cough cough. In the bloody shield, Yulong's face was pale, and he looked at the hand piercing his heart with an expression of disbelief in his eyes, and murmured. How is it possible, why is my blood shield broken, obviously? Obviously as long as my blood has not been drained, then it is an absolute shield that cannot be broken. Hinata pulled out his palm with an indifferent expression, and the blood stained on it had long been evaporated by the pure white chakra. Even when penetrating into Yu Hao's body, the pure white chakra evaporated and destroyed all the internal organs of his body in an instant. Crash. 
After Yulong was killed, the bloody shield surrounding him also peeled off and fell to the ground, forming a pool of bright red blood. Seeing Yu Hao, who was collapsed on the ground, unwilling to die, a look of regret flashed in Hinata Setsuna's eyes. He had just started too quickly, and forgot to ask him who the adult was. But it doesn't matter, there is another one on Kakashi's side. At this moment, Otsutsuki Kagaya's happy and flaunting words rang in his ears. Setsuna, what's the matter, isn't the power of my concubine very strong? Hearing this, Hayuga Setsuna said with a bitter smile on his face. Grandma, your strength is indeed very strong, but next time, can you be less powerful? If the power is too much, I can't stand it. In the restricted space, Kagaya Otsutsuki sat on the throne, propped his beautiful face with one hand, and meditated. It seems that the next time you lend Shasha's strength, you have to hold back a little bit, otherwise the child may not be able to withstand the strength of the concubine's body. Feeling the power gradually disappearing in his body, Hinata Setsuna also had a look of loss on his face. The power just now gave him the feeling that he was omnipotent, and at that time he felt that even if Sarutobi Hirazan came over in person, Hinata Setsuna could beat him to the ground with confidence. It's a pity that this power is different from the Dutongmu model. For him now, this power can only be borrowed reluctantly, and it cannot exist for a long time. Although the, Itsuki mode, can be used in a permanent state, there is a risk of being discovered by Itsuki Hagoromo, the sage of the six paths. The reason why he was able to borrow the power of Otsutsuki Kegaya for a short time this time was also developed thanks to the fragments of the sacred tree obtained last time. Coming to Yulong's body, Hinata Setsuna took away the, scroll of earth, stored on him. Looking at the sky and earth scrolls in his hand, Hayuga Setsuna said to himself. In this way, the two scrolls are finally collected, and then we just need to go to the central tower. After all, his figure walked towards Kakashi. The other side. With a grim expression on his face, Kakashi held the snow in his hand and walked forward silently, surrounding Kui Yupo like a lonely ghost, waiting for the real fatal blow. Except for the sound of raindrops in the sky, the whole space seemed very silent and depressing. Kui Yupo had several dark and scorching scars on his body, which were caused by Kakashi's use of thunder done. Little ghost, if you're playing peek a boo with me, I'll be really angry. Feeling the tingling sensation coming from her body from time to time, Kui Yupo's complexion was very unhappy, after all, Lei Dun really restrained him a bit. Looking at Kakashi who has been around for a long time, Kui Yupo impatiently formed seals with both hands. Secret Technique Thousand Rain Needle Burst. As his sharp words fell, the rainwater within a radius of tens of meters around him was evacuated in an instant, turning into thin transparent needles that filled the sky, and shot towards the surroundings densely. Boom. Boom. Violent explosions continued to resound in the forest one after another. In the ruined forest, Kakashi's figure also appeared in a state of embarrassment. Although he had tried his best to avoid it just now, but there were too many dense needles, and the corner of his right eye was scratched by the needles. Seeing his whereabouts revealed, Kakashi didn't hesitate, and the chakra in his body began to surge. The chirping sound of, ZZZ, appeared, and the azure blue lightning covered the snow walk, reflecting the surrounding light. Flag Wood Sword Art Thunder Slash I saw Kakashi's figure turned into a thunderbolt and rushed forward, and the passionate and destructive azure blue lightning instantly turned the falling rain into a vacuum. Seeing the lightning figure rushing towards him, Kui Yupo put on a black gas mask on her face, with a crazy smile on the corner of her mouth, made a mudra with both hands, and then pressed down on the ground. Spiritualism Salamander With a loud, bang, a gray-black salamander suddenly appeared to resist Kui Yupo's body, blocking all of Kakashi's attacks. Little devil, I don't have time to play peek a boo with you. Sanjiao fish, let me release all the toxins in your body. Hearing Kui Yupo's order, the salamander fish immediately opened its extremely smelly giant mouth, and countless purple-black poisonous mist began to spread in this space. Not far away, when Kakashi saw the poisonous mist released by the salamander, he became vigilant. The first time he held his breath, he controlled chakra to protect his body and prevent the poisonous mist from coming from other places. Invasion. 
but no matter how fast he was, it was not as fast as the poisonous mist, not to mention that in rainy weather, the poisonous mist relied on rain and breeze. Soon the space was filled. Kakashi looked solemn, held his breath, and used the thunder attribute chakra in his body to continuously stimulate the cells, running quickly in the thick poisonous mist. We must quickly find a way to escape from this poisonous fog. The chakra all over his body began to erupt suddenly, and the blue lightning began to emerge on the surface of Kakashi's body, and even destroyed the surrounding poisonous mist the moment it appeared. Enduring the constant numbness and burning from his body language cells, Kakashi continuously used the blinking body technique to move in the mudra of both hands. With the sound of, bang, Kakashi's figure fell heavily out of the poisonous fog, stirring up a cloud of dust and mud on the ground. Cough cough. Phew. Kakashi stuck Yukashiki on the ground with one hand to support his body, breathing in the fresh air from the outside continuously through his mouth and nose. Standing on the salamander, Kui Yupo said with a surprised look on her face, her only right eye was wide open. Little devil, you managed to escape from this poisonous fog. Although his salamander was not that old fellow Hanzo's, and it didn't have such a strong poison, it was amazing that this kid could escape. Kakashi barely propped himself up and asked in a deep voice. Did Hanzo send you here to disrupt this Chunin exam? Aren't you afraid of a big battle in Yuyan village? In Kakashi's eyes, the strength of this guy in front of him can be called an elite even in Yuyan village. It is too suspicious for such a person to take the Chunin exam. Hearing Kakashi's words, Kui Yupo put away the crazy smile on his face, didn't reply, but quickly formed seals with both hands. Water escape iron cannonball. The water sources around him suddenly condensed into a huge water cannon and blasted towards Kakashi. And Kakashi, relying on the little chakra left in his body, reluctantly tied his seals and performed a substitute technique to avoid the past. Kui Yupo stood on the top of the salamander and looked coldly at the tired Kakashi below, and a large number of water cannons continuously emerged from his body and bombarded him. Looking at the incoming water cannon, Kakashi had to pay attention to the poisonous mist when he was dodging. At the same time, he reached out and took out a few shurikens from his ninja bag and threw them at Aoi Yupo. Looking at the throne shuriken, Aoi Yupo, who was standing on top of the Sanshoyu, had a mocking smile on his face. Little ghost, even your ninjutsu can't kill me, but these shurikens can kill me. After all, he just turned his head slightly to avoid the flying shuriken. On the ground, Kakashi looked dignified and moved his hands slightly, while in the air between the two of them, there were a few transparent steel wires looming. Just when Kui Yupo avoided the shuriken, Kakashi's hands suddenly pulled back, and the shuriken in the air suddenly made a violent friction sound. Whizzing. And when Kui Yupo on the top of the salamander fish realized something was wrong, several steel wires mixed with shuriken slammed towards him. With a sound of, Shua, Puchi, he was firmly tied to the body of the salamander, and at the same time, those shurikens were also firmly inserted into his body. Sanjiao fish, destroy these steel wires. The moment she was tied up, Kui Yupo loudly commanded the salamanders below her. Hearing the order, the salamander immediately moved, opening its mouth wide and waving its short hands, and slapped towards the steel wire floating in the air. Looking at the salamander with its huge mouth open, Kakashi's eyes flashed brightly, and he waved his hands violently. Immediately, the Kui Yupo above the head was pulled by the steel wire and fell into the huge mouth of the salamander fish. It happened. Seeing her body gradually slipping into the mouth of the salamander, Kui Yupo struggled to use ninjutsu to escape, but was tightly entangled by the steel wire. In the distance, looking at the salamander standing there because the summoner was swallowed into his mouth, Kakashi firmly stepped on the steel wire with one foot, squeezing the little chakra in his body, and made seals with both hands. Lay done pseudo darkness. The sound of, ZZZ, began to sound continuously, and the blue thunder and lightning blasted towards the Sanjiao fish standing in place along the special steel wire. Boom. The moment it was hit, the salamander turned into white smoke and dissipated, returning to its original place. Looking at the disappearing salamander and sunflower, Kakashi slowly relaxed his tense nerves. Looks like that guy is dead too. I didn't expect that the shuriken technique I happened to learn last time would actually play a role in a surprise attack this time. 
Kakashi squatted on the ground leaning on the snow, and when he was about to reach out to take the treatment kit out of the ninja bag for treatment, a sound like bubbles sounded behind him. The moment he heard the sound, Kakashi immediately moved his body and rolled forward. PFF. I saw a sharp water blade slashed Kakashi's abdomen. Blood gushed out immediately, staining his clothes red. Kakashi, who was lying on the ground, looked at Kui Yupo with disbelief and said. You are, still alive. In front of his eyes, the clothes on Kui Yupo's upper body had disappeared as if they had been dissolved, and at the same time his body showed half purple and half normal skin. And the sound of those bubbles is exactly the sound of his purple skin constantly rising. Kui Yupo took off the black gas mask on his face, and his face also showed the appearance of purple poisoning. Hey, even if I'm about to die, I'll drag you down, brat. The purple marks that spread continuously on the body are the toxins in the Sancho fish. After falling into the belly of the Sancho fish, Kui Yupo's clothes, antidote, and steel wire were all dissolved in an instant. Originally, he himself had antitoxicity, but what he didn't expect was that the antidote mixed in the salamander fish produced a more violent poison. Even he couldn't bear such a poisonous toxicity. And that old Hanzo didn't tell him that the antidote would produce such a terrible toxin with the salamander. Little devil, you will go to hell with me. After finishing speaking, before the toxin had spread to the whole body, Kui Yupo condensed a water blade on her arm, and swung it at Kakashi who was lying on the ground unable to move. Just when it was about to hit, a voice suddenly sounded. Gossip empty palm. An invisible wave hit Kui Yupo's body, causing him to fly upside down. Forest of death. The figure of Setsuna Hayuga jumped out of the forest and came to Kakashi's side. Kakashi is all right. Helping Kakashi who was lying on the ground up, Hinata Setsuna took out a medical bandage from the ninja bag to treat his wound. Looking at Kakashi's dislocated left arm due to fierce fighting, Hinata instantly opened his eyes, looked for the right position, and restored him with a, click. And Kakashi himself snorted with cold sweat on his face. After dealing with the wound and dislocated left arm, he helped Kakashi to rest under the thick tree. Setsuna, that guy is dead. Kakashi looked at Aoi Yuhaku who seemed not far away as if the poison had spread to his whole body, and asked. With the white eyes in both eyes, Hinata Setsuna shook his head and said. Not dead, but not too far away from death. You rest first, I'll go over and ask him for information. After finishing speaking, Hinata closed her eyes instantly, turned around and walked towards Kui Yupo. Coming to his side, looking at Aoi Yupo whose whole body had started to turn purple, Hinata asked Setsuna. Who is that adult you are talking about? Is it Hanzo, or who? Collapsing on the ground, Kui Yupo, who was purple all over and unable to move, rolled her eyes, and a look of regret flashed in her eyes. He, he, Yulong, that guy. Dot you, killed, dead. Ah. It's really, a pity, that, guy, should, be killed by me, personally. Because the toxin has begun to spread to his throat and even the vocal cords of his mouth, it is very difficult for Kui Yupo to speak aloud now. Looking at Kui Yupo who was about to die, Hinata Setsuna asked patiently and repeatedly. Who is that adult you are talking about? Is it Hanzo, or who? To be honest, if he knew the ninjutsu of the mountain clan, there would be so much trouble. He would just use his brain to extract the information he wanted. Kui Yupo, who collapsed on the ground, didn't speak, but just stared blankly at the rain falling from the sky. Looking at the silent Kui Yupo, Hayuga Setsuna turned and left quickly. He didn't use any means of coercion, because it wasn't terrible for a dying person. As the toxin continued to spread, Kui Yupo's heart and brain began to gradually stop moving, and the world in front of her eyes gradually became blurred. Looking at the dark clouds and rain in the sky, Kui Yupo's eyes showed a self-deprecating color. Unexpectedly, on the day of my death, the last thing I saw was these dark clouds and rain, it was really, annoying. Recalling the people she met when she accepted the mission and left Yuyan village, Kui Yupo suddenly had an inexplicable look in her eyes. Let the country that is always crying stop crying, oh, what a naive idea. However, if I can do it, I also want to see with my own eyes how wonderful it would be to have a country that is not crying. The black representing death began to spread in front of Kui Yupo's eyes until it was completely covered. Who? 
Whoosh. Whoosh. With Kui Yupo's complete death, the toxins in his body that had been suppressed by chakra burst out in an instant. Boiling purple-black bubbles began to explode from the surface of his body. In the end, the violent toxin spread from Kui Yupo's feet to the body, gradually turning into purple-black dust and blowing into the sky. And the direction in which the dust was blown happened to be the village of Hidden Rain. Turning to leave, Hinata Setsuna heard the sound, turned his head and looked back, looking at the purple-black dust, a sky-blue star-like light flashed in his eyes. Hinata Setsuna came to Kakashi's side, helped him up, and walked towards the direction where Inazukatsu and Yuyu Ryuiki were. I've got the scroll of earth, and then we just need to go to the central tower. Kakashi, who was being supported, nodded and did not speak, nor did he ask him if he had received any information. The place where Hyuga Setsuna and Yuoboro fought. A huge black snake slowly swam over, looking at the dead body of Yulong on the ground, surprise flashed in its cold vertical pupils. Then slowly opened its giant mouth and swallowed Yulong's corpse into its stomach, then wandered around to continue looking for the next prey. Today it has already found several pieces of cold food like just now. Although it cannot fill its stomach, it is also a surprise. In the hollow of a thick tree, Ryuiki, who was less injured, was carefully bandaging Inazuka's wound. Inazuka Su looked out of the tree hole blankly, and said worriedly. Long Yi, do you think Setsuna Hinata and Kakashi Hitaki can defeat those two guys? Jin, you have to have full confidence in your fellow villagers, trust them. They are called, geniuses, by the village. But, even if they are geniuses, they are only five or six years old. You must know that we normally graduated from ninja school at that time, but we had to be seven or eight or eight or nine years old. Just when Inazukatsu was going to continue to say something, two figures suddenly appeared outside the tree hole. Looking at the two surprised faces in the tree cave, Hayuga Setsuna said with a warm smile on his face. Yo, we're back. At night, there was still a hazy drizzle in the sky, and the moonlight was blocked by thick dark clouds. The death forest, which was already very quiet, seemed even more lonely at this moment. Crackling. A raging flame ignited in the slightly wide tree hole, bringing some warmth and light to the four people in the tree hole. Kakashi held the baked food in his hand, came to Hinata Setsuna and handed it to him, and said softly. Setsuna, this Chunin exam is very dangerous. Even the two people who appeared in Yuyin village, Anbu didn't come in time. After receiving the cooked food, Hinata Setsuna said in a low voice. Kakashi, this Chunin exam was dangerous from the beginning. Remember the rules announced by the examiner Zongsen when we entered the examination room. He said that no matter what method we use, we must get this scroll of heaven and earth. It means that killing is allowed in this exam. And that Inazuka Su said just now, the last few Chunin exams had medical troops and Anbu as the logistics for the wounded in the exam, why not this time? Having said that, Hinata Setsuna raised the water bottle on the side and took a sip, then continued with an indifferent expression. Since killing is allowed in the first exam, then presumably killing is also allowed in the next exam at Hidden Sand Village. At that time, based on the environment of the Kingdom of Wind, the killing and danger at that time will be the real danger. Hearing this, Kakashi's expression became serious, and he was silently thinking about this Chunin exam. Hinata Setsuna looked at the finished food in his hands, got up and walked towards the direction where Inazukatsu was grilling. After receiving the food that Inazuka had brought over, Hinata Setsuna unceremoniously ate it. After all, apart from eating food in the morning, he has been fighting and traveling with Kakashi since then. The next morning, the continuous rain and dark clouds in the sky have dissipated, and the sun rises into the sky and shines in the forest, as if illuminating the vitality. In the spacious tree hole, Hinata Setsuna got up early relying on his good biological clock. After a simple wash, he returned to the tree hole to wake up the other three people one after another. After packing with Kakashi, they bid farewell to Inazukatsu and Yuyu Ryuiki. After all, now that both of them have obtained the heaven and earth scrolls, all that is left is to go to the central tower. In the lush forest, the leaves are dotted with crystal dewdrops after the rain. There was a rustling sound from a thick bush. A poisonous snake with a black body was twisting its body, and its cold vertical pupils were staring closely at the two figures approaching not far away. 
Looking at the two figures that were getting closer, the poisonous snake swallowed the letter, arched its body and charged at its long-awaited prey. PFF. Accompanied by this sound, the poisonous snake's body was also pierced by a short knife and nailed to the thick tree trunk. Kakashi drew out his short knife expressionlessly, looked at the central tower not far away, and said softly. It's finally here. Beside him, Hayuga Setsuna suddenly turned his head to look at the dense forest not far away, and said with a warm smile on his face. Kakashi, which side are you going to solve? Kakashi looked coldly at the ninja candidates hiding in the woods and said. Right. Then, I'll choose the left. As soon as the voice fell, Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi disappeared instantly. Not long after, the ground in front of the central tower. Clap. Clap. The two figures landed in front of the central tower at the same time, and the guarding ninja looked at the two coming and asked. Have you collected all the heaven and earth scrolls? Hearing this, Hayuga Setsuna took out the two scrolls of heaven and earth from his arms and handed them to him. The guard ninja took the scroll, and after confirming it repeatedly, he finally put the two of them in. Walking into the central tower to the lounge on the second floor, Hinata Setsuna opened the wooden door. Squeak. As the wooden door was opened, several figures in the lounge cast their gazes one after another. Looking at the two teams in the lounge, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed with surprise. I didn't expect anyone to arrive before him and Kakashi. Although the two of them were delayed because of yesterday's incident, they also arrived on the second day of the exam. Looking at the few people who were staring at him, Hinata Setsuna gave them a warm smile, and then sat down with Kakashi at random. After sitting down, Hinata Setsuna shifted his eyes to observe the few people on the opposite side. Among them, the three people on the right are from Yenian village. They all have khaki belts on their right arms. They generally don't look very old, about 12 or 13 years old. After observing the people in Yenian village, he turned his attention to the two people in Shayan village on the left. When looking at one of the orange figures in Hidden Sand Village, Hayuga Setsuna's eyes were filled with surprise. This person seems to be Joe Dunyi Kang. Looking at the orange-haired Hakura, who is in excellent shape on the left, Hinata Setsuna fell into deep thought. In his impression and memory, Hakura seems to have become famous in the Third Ninja World War, and he is also known as the hero of Sand Hidden Village. If I remember correctly, Yi Kang later took in an apprentice named Wan. She lived until the fourth case Cage Rasa was in power, and was later deceived by the senior officials of Sand Hidden Village to go to Wuin Village in the name of performing a secret mission. As a result, he was attacked and killed by a ninja in Wuin Village disguised as a friendly army without any precautions, and finally became a victim of great power politics. After that, he was resurrected with the technique of reincarnation of the dirt, and participated in the fourth ninja world war. Withdrawing his gaze from looking at Yi Kang, Hayuga Setsuna thought to himself. Shooting Dun's blood inheritance boundary, it seems that we need to pay attention to it in the future. At this moment, with a, bang, the wooden door of the lounge was kicked open. I saw that Karu, who was covered in paint and even had many wounds on his face, walked in with an arrogant expression. It's just that when his eyes saw Hinata Momenta in the center of the room, the arrogant look on Karu's face suddenly froze. Karu swallowed involuntarily at this moment, for a moment he didn't know whether to continue walking in or stay where he was. Snapped. Suddenly, a foot kicked Karu's ass hard, kicking him directly into the lounge. Isa, who also had many scars all over his body, retracted his kicked right foot, and said with anger that had not been extinguished on his face. Karu, you, the door is already open, why are you still blocking the door? Are you in a daze? You only think about killing fools. After speaking, Isa saw a few figures in the room. Especially when she saw the clean and tidy Hayuga Setsu, Isa's face instantly became ugly. But soon, Isa calmed down her turbulent mood and rapid breathing. After taking a deep look at Hinata Setsu, she led Hits to a seat not far away and sat down. Karu, who just got up from the ground, looked at the two who had left him behind, and was dumbfounded, and shouted loudly. Sister, wait for me. After speaking, he hurriedly chased after him, and his body still trembled when he left. 
Looking at the three people in Union Village who were covered in wounds all over their bodies, and the three people in Union Village were in a state of distress, Hayuga Setsuna drew a faint smile on the corner of his mouth, and said softly. It seems that the three guys in Union Village have suffered a lot. Hearing this, Kakashi also had a smile on his face under the mask, and nodded slightly. Not far away, Isa closed his eyes, his face was cold, and he exuded an aura that strangers should not approach. Karu, who was sitting next to him, looked at Isa with some fear, and whispered. I don't want to do that either, but the one who agreed to carry out that plan, isn't it you, big sister? As soon as his words fell, a violent wind and a loud, bang, sounded in Karu's ears. Looking at the fist that hit the wall less than a few centimeters away from him, Karu kept swallowing his saliva, with a flattering look on his face, when he was about to speak. Issa's cold voice drifted over. Karu, if you dare to speak again, I guarantee you will regret it in the future. Hearing this, Karu looked terrified, nodding his head in agreement like a chicken pecking at rice. With a cold face, Nisa withdrew his fist that had been smashed into the wall, and continued to sit and rest with his eyes closed. Hits looked at Karu with sympathy on his face. Cautiously looking at Isa who was resting with his eyes closed, a trace of grievance flashed in Karu's eyes. It is the eldest sister who clearly agrees to implement the plan, I am only responsible for provocative speeches, why are you doing this to me? Besides, the group of ninja candidates encountered in the forest of death, didn't they all suffer the most attacks? Clap. Clap. The sound of clogs stepping on the floor echoed continuously in the Hokage building. Arriving at the door of Hokage's office, Shimura Danzo opened the wooden door with a flat expression. Squeak. Seeing the wooden door being pulled open, the three people in the room also stared at it. Shimura Danzo looked at the three people present expressionlessly, then looked at Sarutobi Hirazan who was sitting behind the desk, and said. Rizan, what do you want from me? Seeing Shimura Danzo like this, Mito Yan's expression was a little displeased. Danzo. Pay attention to your attitude. Hearing this, Shimura Danzo glanced at him with his dark eyes and didn't speak, just looked at Serutobi Hiruzen quietly. Hiruzuru Serutobi's eyes darkened, he picked up the pipe, puffed out the smoke, and said solemnly. Danzo, as the person in charge of the Chunin exam this time, two unidentified people appeared in this Chunin exam. Do you know? Seeing Hiruzuru Serutobi's question, Danzo Shimura opened Hayabusa's eyes and said with a little dissatisfaction. Hizen, did you use Anbu to monitor this Chunin exam? As the person in charge of the Chunin exam, I don't know what happened this time, how did you know? Hearing Shimura Danzo's words, Hiruzuru Serutobi took a deep breath of cigarette, looked at him deeply, and said. Those two people made a lot of noise. Many ninjas in our Konoha village died at their hands, and there were even more candidates from other villages. If the other ninja villages know about this matter, there will probably be a lot of trouble. Danzo, this time you didn't prepare for the logistics team for the exam, it was a completely wrong decision. Hearing this, Shimura Danzo's eyes suddenly became gloomy, and he said with a sneer. HMPH, Hiruza, how can a ninja become a real ninja without going through the training of blood? Speaking of this, Shimura Danzo's words paused, and with a fierce look in his eyes, he continued. If the other ninja villages dare to make trouble, then we just take this opportunity to wipe them out. Hearing Shimura Danzo's harsh words, Mito Minyan and Zanju Kaharu immediately scolded. Danzo, are you crazy? Danzo, calm down, the war has finally stopped, are you going to start a war again? Seeing the reprimand of the two Hokage consultants, Shimura Danzo's eyes flashed with disdain. In his opinion, these two guys have completely lost their confidence and become very cowardly. He looked at Hiruzen Serutobi, hoping that this former partner could make the right decision. Hiruzuru Serutobi took a deep breath of the cigarette, and said with a heavy face. Danzo, the hard one piece, we can't easily break it. Hearing Serutobi Hiruzen's words, Shimura Danzo said with disappointment in his eyes and a gloomy expression. Then do you think this moment of peace will last forever? Hijin, look at the information, Union Village is accumulating a huge army, Yenian Village is preparing an elite ninja army, Sandy Yin Village is also constantly spying on our fertile land of Konoha, and Wuin Village is also looking at it from the sidelines. We are eyeing it. 
isn't the purpose of their actions obvious? Speaking of excitement, Shimura Danzo said with an angry look on his face. Let me tell you, Sarutobi Hirazan, the peace we gained will be gone soon. War will break out soon. If the teacher and the first generation adults are still there, would other ninja villages dare to do this? Hai Zan, you really let me down. After saying this, Danzo Shimura calmed down his excitement, staring at Hirazan Sarutobi with dissatisfaction on his face. The two Hokage consultants on the side, Mito Yan and Zhuanju Kaharu, after hearing the information suddenly, questioned Shimura Danzo one after another. Danzo, is what you said true? If these are true, then the war. However, Shimura Danzo just silently ignored the questioning of the two Hokage consultants, his eyes still fixed on Sarutobi Hirazan. Behind the desk, Hirazuru Sarutobi picked up the pipe and lit it again, took a deep breath, and did not respond to Shimura Danzo's fierce words. Looking at the silent Sarutobi Hirazan, Shimura Danzo's eyes also became disappointed, he sighed and said. Rizan, you have become cowardly. After that, he turned around and walked out of the house. Looking at Danzo Shimura walking towards the door, Hirazuru Sarutobi's face covered in smoke made it difficult to see clearly. Danzo, you must dispose of the information of those two people, as the person in charge of the Chunin exam. Other ninja villages are dissatisfied with this matter, I will discuss it with them personally. Outside the door, Shimura Danzo didn't care about it when he heard Hiruzuru Serutobi attributed the identities of the two to him. Although those two were indeed sent by him to contact Hanzo to hunt and kill other ninja villages. As for the discussion, you have to rely on those cowardly foreign policies again. Walking in the Hokage building, Shimura Danzo looked cold and thought secretly. Hirijin, you are no longer suitable as Hokage to lead the village to prosperity and prosperity. Looking at Shimura Danzo who left, Zhuanzi Xiaochun asked. Ri Zan, are those information true? Hearing this, Hiruzuru Serutobi nodded silently after a moment of silence. After being confirmed, Mito Menyan and Zhuanzi Xiaohuru also looked at each other face to face. Could it be that the Third Ninja World War is really about to break out? After a while, Mito Menyan changed the subject and said. Hijin, this time you handed over the Chunin exam to Danzo, it's really lacking. Serutobi Hirazan shook his head, took a puff of cigarette, and said. This is someone from the capital. The royal capital. Could it be the daimyo? Or someone else? Looking at the surprised two people in front of him, Hirazuru Serutobi didn't speak, just smoking his pipe silently. Soon, after both Kaharu and Mito Minyan left, Hirazuru Serutobi's whole body seemed to be bent. Thinking of this order from the capital and the attack on the capital last time, Hirazuru Serutobi murmured with a tired look in his eyes. Tuanzo. Taking out the mission information description sent back by Sakumo Hataki from the drawer last time, Hirazuru Serutobi's eyes became very complicated. Get up and go out the window, looking at the peaceful and prosperous village in Hokage Rock. Teacher, the first generation of adults. The deep underground of Konoha, the stronghold of roots. In the hut where Danzo Shimura usually rests, the flame of a candle is swaying without wind. Shimura Danzo sat on the main seat indifferently, and gave instructions to the people below. Let Taki and the others do their best to hunt and kill candidates from other ninja villages in the Zongnan exam in Hidden Sand Village. And inform all the spies outside the roots, give me all the information on other ninja villages. Yes, Danzo-sama. With the disappearance of the root ninja below, the only bright candle in the house was also extinguished. Shimura Danzo's figure was also completely shrouded in darkness. Only a murmur sounded. The position of Hokage. Two days later. At the gate of Muya village, ninja candidates from all over the world gather here. Standing in front of the examinees, a man wearing a sand-hidden village helmet on his forehead and a ninja green vest announced the rules of the second exam with a blank face. The rules of the second exam, you candidates need to carry the heaven and earth scroll obtained in the last round as a token, set off from Muya village, and safely go through the wind and sand desert to find and arrive at a stronghold built by sand hidden village. If the heaven and earth scroll as a keepsake is lost, even if you reach the stronghold safely, you will be counted as eliminated. In addition, you only have five days to reach the stronghold through the desert of wind and sand. 
If you don't arrive within five days, it means that you will be eliminated in this Chunin exam. At the same time, the environment and temperature in the wind and sand desert will undergo drastic changes in the past few days. As soon as he announced the rules, the candidates below began to discuss, and they were all surprised by the passing requirements of this exam. And the ninja candidates in Hidden Sand Village were overjoyed when they heard the exam rules. Obviously, the rules of this exam are very beneficial to them. Not long after, some candidates asked him a question. Master examiner, isn't this exam very beneficial to the candidates in Hidden Sand Village? That's right, wouldn't the examinees in Sand Hidden Village just go back to their own home? Looking at the unkind eyes and words of some candidates beside them, the faces of the candidates in Shayan Village suddenly darkened, and some even wanted to go up and compete now. How do these guys talk, what does it mean to return to Shayan Village like returning to your own home? Obviously Sha Yin Village is their home, right? Listening to the candidates questioning, the Jonan man with the forehead of Sand Hidden Village on his forehead remained expressionless and continued to speak. As for the strongholds you are worried about, the strongholds arranged for this Chunin exam are all secretly arranged in advance, and the candidates in Hidden Sand Village don't know where they are. You can only find it within five days by yourself. Speaking of this, he looked at the candidates with different faces below, and said solemnly. This Chunin exam is jointly arranged by the four major ninja villages, and it is absolutely fair in terms of rules. Hearing these words, some candidates also fell silent. As for the ninja candidates who belong to Hidden Sand Village, the joy on their faces disappeared and turned into worry instead. Just because they came from Hidden Sand Village, they also know and are familiar with the desert better, so they understand that it is too difficult to find and reach a brand new stronghold within five days. Among the candidates in Shayan Village, a short girl came to Yi Kang's side and said in a soft voice. Yi Kang, are you sure you can find that stronghold within five days? Yi Kang, who embraced his hands, opened his eyes and shook his head. I don't know, the desert of wind and sand is really too big. It's very, very difficult to find a new stronghold for the village in it. Although we are very familiar with the desert, the weather changes in the sandy desert will be extreme in the past few days, and I'm afraid it will be even more difficult to find a stronghold. Hearing this, the short girl also fell silent. In the open space, Hyuga Setsuna glanced thoughtfully at the examiner, then turned his gaze to Sand Hidden Village, and whispered to Kakashi beside him. Kakashi will wait for the exam to start, and we will follow those guys from Hidden Sand Village directly. Follow them directly. Will they be regarded as enemies like this? No, most people in the examination room will choose to follow the candidates from Hidden Sand Village. If you want to pass this exam, you must either rely on pure luck, or try your luck with those candidates from Hidden Sand Village who are familiar with the desert. After all, the desert in the Kingdom of Wind is too big. Hearing this, Kakashi couldn't help but nodded. If it was really pure luck to find it, then with his and Hinata Setsuna's unlucky luck, they might not be able to find that stronghold in this life. Then these guys from Sand Hidden Village will let us follow as they wish. With a warm smile on his face, Hyuga Setsuna looked at the candidates in Shayan Village not far away, and said softly. Yes, they won't make a move even if we keep following until we reach the desert of wind and sand. Only when they reach the wind and sand desert, will they take advantage of the desert environment to get rid of us. Then how do we follow them when we enter the desert of wind? Hearing this, Hyuga Setsuna rolled his eyes helplessly, looked at Kakashi with, the eyes of a fool, in his eyes, and said speechlessly. Kakashi, have you forgotten my last name? Hearing this, Kakashi's face froze suddenly, and there was embarrassment on his face under the mask. He almost forgot that the guy next to him has supercilious eyes called, eyes of insight. The guys from Hidden Sand Village have entered a vast area like the desert, and as long as they are detected by white eyes, they will almost be unable to escape surveillance. Hinata Setsuna looked at the embarrassed and guilty Kakashi with suspicion in his eyes. At this moment, a clear female voice sounded. Examiner, I want to ask, if our lives are in danger in the extreme weather like the windy sand desert, is your hidden sand village prepared for a rescue operation? Not far away, under the shadow of a thick tree, Issa looked at the examiner coldly, with a questioning tone in his words. Hearing Issa's questioning, many candidates in hidden sand village glared at her, 
while Kalu beside her was gesturing to them with a full face. The Jonan man with the forehead guard of Hidden Sand Village on his forehead looked at Isa and said. The life safety of all candidates is fully responsible for the Hidden Sand Village. After all, his figure disappeared in an instant. Looking at the examiner who suddenly disappeared, the candidates below were a little at a loss for a while. After all, that guy hasn't announced the start of the exam yet. Hinata Setsuna glanced at the people in Sand Hidden Village, and Kakashi looked at each other, and said in a low voice. The exam has begun. Although the two of them knew that the exam had already started when the examiner disappeared, they didn't do anything, just stood there quietly and looked at the people in Cheyenne Village. The other candidates also gradually became aware of this problem, but none of them set out for the Desert of Wind, and they all stood there blankly, looking at the people in Hidden Sand Village. In the open space in front of the Konoha Gate, suddenly fell into a strange atmosphere. Feeling the strange atmosphere in this space, everyone in Cheyenne Village looked very ugly. How could they not know what other people were thinking at this time? It's nothing more than wanting them to go first, and then they will follow behind. A grumpy candidate Cheyenne was about to go out to confront him, but was pulled back by his teammates and covered his mouth by the way. The short girl stood beside Yi Kang, looked at her, as if she was the backbone of Sa Yin, and asked softly. Yi Kang, what should we do? Looking at the strange atmosphere around, Yi Kang walked forward with a flat face and said. What else can we do? Of course we have to go to the desert of wind and sand. We only have five days. Looking at Yi Kang who was walking forward, the rest of Sha Yin's candidates looked at each other in blank dismay, and then they had no choice but to follow. Seeing Sha Yin's candidates finally move, the rest of the candidates finally heaved a sigh of relief and followed. On a rooftop in Muya village, four figures stood among them, a chubby man with red hair said. It seems that the candidates this time are not stupid. They all know that they must follow the candidates of Shayan village first. Well, although they are a little clever, it will be useless if they only follow Shayan candidates in this exam. Lu Ju, why do you say that? A man with long yellow hair curiously asked Nara Shikahisa beside him. Hearing his question, Shikahisa Nara stretched his waist with a lazy expression on his face, and said. Hai Yi, the purpose of this exam is to test their insight and luck. Sha Yin has hidden some clues in the wind and sand desert is assigned to go to the stronghold. This is a test of the insight of the candidates. As for luck, having said this, Nara Shikajiu cleared his throat and continued. If those candidates only follow the candidates from Shayan village, then they will get nothing. As long as they enter the desert of wind and sand, those candidates who are hidden in the sand will definitely be able to quickly get rid of other candidates by relying on their familiarity and understanding of the desert. Hearing this, Yamanaka Kaichi nodded with a look of surprise on his face. At this time, a chubby hand was suddenly placed on his shoulder. The man with red hair, with a happy smile on his face, handed over the potato chips and snacks in his hand and said. Hi Yi, why do you think so much? Leave these annoying problems to Lu Ju alone. We just need to trust his judgment and execution. Hearing this, Yamanaka Kai said with a wry smile on his face, refusing the snacks handed over. Ding Zuo, sometimes you have to let your brain work more and think. Haha, I don't understand these, anyway, I just need to trust Lu Ju and your judgment. After that, Chu Dao Ding Zhou stuffed the snacks into his mouth again and chewed. Looking at the examinees who started to move below, Nara Shikahisa turned his head and persuaded Namake's Minato who was worried beside him. Minato, if you're really worried about Kashina, you can put aside the task of proctoring the Chunin exam for now. Namikaze Minato shook his head, put a smile on his face again, and said. It's okay, I believe that Kashina can do it, and the Chunin exam here also needs to use my flying thunder god technique. Seeing that Namikaze Minato smiled again, but his eyes were still worried, Akamichi Dingza stepped forward and put his arm around his shoulders, and said with a smile. Don't worry, Minato. Kashina is very strong. Listening to Akamichi Dingza's words, Namikaze Minato also remembered the dream Kashina Uzumaki had told him when he was a child, and looked at the Hokage building with his eyes, thinking inwardly. Kashina, come on. You are going to be Hokage's woman. Afterwards, he restrained his inner emotions and said to the three of them. 
Since the candidates have already started to act, it's time for us to go to the desert of wind and sand and wait. After all, the figures of the four disappeared on the rooftop in an instant. In the land of wind. In the barren desert, yellow sand swept across the sky, mixed with fine gravel. And in a hidden oasis near the desert stands a circular detached house made of gravel. In the house in the center, Chio and Ebizo were walking towards the central room. Boom. Opening the door of the central room, Chio walked in with a solemn expression, and asked several people in the room. Are all the psychic beasts in place? Also, have the examinees arrived in the desert of wind and sand? Not far away, a man with a white mask opened his eyes and said respectfully. Lord Chio, you have let those psychic beasts spread all over the desert of wind and sand. As for the candidates, no one has reached the desert of wind and sand yet. Hearing this, Chio's expression softened, and he turned his head, and said to a few ninjas not far away with white cloth strips around their arms. Let the perception and logistics forces prepare the wounded. Speaking of this, Chio's words paused, and continued with dangerous eyes. If those bounty hunters and some malicious guys want to sabotage this exam, let the puppet masters and combat troops get ready to meet the enemy. Hearing Chio's order, several people in the room nodded in agreement. Hai Laozang looked at Chio who was beside him with bloodshot eyes, and said sadly. Sister, why don't you go and rest? For this exam, you haven't had much rest these days. Chio, who was sitting on the sand bench beside her, shook her head and said in a slightly tired voice. As for the rest, we'll talk about it after the Chunin exam is over. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. At this moment, there was a sudden knock on the door outside the house. Come in. The door was opened, and a puppet master wearing a chunin vest, with a restless expression on his face, came to Chio and said. Lord Chio, Scorpion is missing. Chio, who had just sat down to rest, suddenly got up when she heard the news, grabbed the collar of the person in front of her, and said eagerly. You said the scorpion is missing. What's going on? Why did the scorpion disappear? Ebizo looked at the excited Chio, and immediately stepped forward to pull her away and said. Sister, calm down, calm down. Listen to what he said. Chio took a step back, calmed down the turbulent emotions in his heart, and said calmly. Tell me everything about Shia's disappearance. As the story of the matter continued to be told, Chio's expression gradually became dignified. Hai Laozang looked at the puppet master who was half kneeling on the ground, and said with a wave. You go down first. Yes. Accompanied by his departure. Hai Laozang turned his head and said soothingly. Sister, don't worry too much. Looking at the situation, Xie should have left by himself. He should have something to do, and he will come back when he is done. Chio's face was serious, and he said suddenly. Information says that the child named Liang Yu also disappeared with Xie. Well, Xie should have taken him away. After all, Liang Yu is Xie's only friend. Sitting on the sand stool, Chio kept thinking and recalling Shia's recent actions and situation, and suddenly turned to Ebino and asked. Why do you think Xie left the village, Hai Laozang? Don't tell me that Scorpio is going to do important things. You know, Scorpio is different from other children. Hearing Chio's question, Ebizo's expression fell silent. After a while, looking at the silent Ebino, Chio got up and said to him. The Chunin exam here is up to you, Ebizo. After all, she ignored the astonished Ebizo, and walked outside the house, giving orders to the people not far away as she walked. Call out the perception force and look for the scorpion. Border. Hey. Hey. In the forest, the figures of Hyuga Setsuna and Kakashi kept flickering, and not far behind them, there were candidates from other villages. Looking at the examinees in Sand Hidden Village who were, forced, to lead the way ahead, the white eyes of Hinata Setsuna opened and looked through the front. Kakashi, the desert of wind and sand is not far ahead. Shamo, when we arrive at the desert of wind and sand, which team of sand hidden candidates shall we follow? Hearing this, Hinata Setsuna thought for a while and said. We'll follow the team with the orange hair and good body. Kakashi, who was on his way, almost bumped his head against the thick tree in front of him when he heard this. After adjusting his pace, Kakashi glanced at him slightly weirdly, and Hinata Setsuna, who did not change his expression, was thinking in his heart. Is this what the book says? On the side, Hinata Setsuna concentrated her mind, 
carefully observed Yi Kang in the sand hidden in front through the insight of her white eyes, and whispered in her heart. That's Burning Dun's blood inheritance boundary. Sure enough, it works differently from ordinary ninjas. Through the insight ability of white eyes, Hanata Setsuna can clearly see the chakra in Yekora's body. That is a different power from the chakra of ordinary ninjas. If it's just the ordinary Hanata family rolling their eyes, of course it's impossible to see through the power in other people's body so clearly. After all, ordinary white eyes can only gain insight into the chakra operation mode in the body of the blood following the boundary ninja, which is different from ordinary people. Hanata Setsuna's white eyes have undergone many changes and transformations, and are currently slowly approaching the eyes of reincarnation. That's why he was able to see something unusual with his white eyes. Just as Hanata Setsuke continued to observe Yi Kang, there was a sudden violent explosion sound from behind the two of them. Bang! 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 A flame-like heat came from behind the two, and countless trees in the forest immediately began to burn and snap. And the moment he heard the sound, Kakashi immediately became vigilant and moved closer to Hanata Setsuna. That was the sound of the detonator just now. Did those examiners set traps during the exam? Kakashi turned his head to look at Setsuna Hayuga, and confirmed the situation behind him. After glancing at the back, Hinata Setsuna said calmly. Never mind, let's continue on our way. The three guys from Union Village are fighting with candidates from Kaoyan Village. Besides, if they are dealt with here, there will be no rescuers from Hidden Sand Village to help treat them. After all, Hayuga Setsuna continued to focus on Yi Kang in front of her, studying the blood succession limit in her body. And Kakashi also noticed that Setsuna Hayuga opened his eyes and set his eyes on the orange figure in front of him, but he didn't ask any questions, but just lowered his head and thought. Is there anything strange about that man? He believed that Hinata Setsu would not pay so much attention to a person for no reason. Unless, there is something special about that person. At this time, Hinata Setsuna, who was observing and studying Hakura, suddenly felt a faint crisis welling up in his heart, and he scanned his surroundings vigilantly. Who? This feeling. Just as he was scanning his surroundings, Otsutsuki Kagaya's very dissatisfied and angry reprimand sounded in his ears. Shimo, my concubine never taught you to look at a girl's body with supercilious eyes. Hearing this, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed embarrassment as if he had been caught by an elder on the spot for doing something bad. Grandma, I don't, I'm not. I simply observe the bloodline boundary in her body with supercilious eyes. After all, I will become an enemy when I get to that desert. Hinata suddenly lacked confidence, and responded a little guilty, as if trying to refute something. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya said suspiciously. Really? After finishing speaking, she secretly activated the emotional perception ability of the pure body, feeling the emotions from Hinata Setsuna's heart. After a while, Otsutsuki Kegaya's face showed satisfaction, and he turned off the emotion perception ability of the pure body. Good boy. In the outside world, after Hayuga Setsuna was reprimanded by his grandmother, he also quickly closed his eyes and concentrated on his journey. In the rear, the forest was in a mess, and the rising flames were burning ragingly. PFF. Isa jumped down from the tree with a cold face, and at the same time sent the kanai in his hand into the enemy's throat. The two people not far away, after seeing Isa easily dealt with the opponent, Karu stepped forward with joy and praised. As expected of a big sister. These grass ninja guys are not opponents at all. Boom. Kalu, who had just stepped forward, was immediately sent flying with a punch, and hit the tree hard. Looking at Karu who was beaten into the air, anger flashed in Issa's eyes. You guys, be honest with me, you are the one who causes trouble every time. In the end, it's me and Hits who will finish you every time. Hearing this, Karu, who slid down from the tree, rubbed his face dejectedly, lowered his head and did not speak. Karu also knew that the fight this time was because of him. But, who made those three grass ninjas provoke him first? Looking at the ninja candidates going away, Isa turned around and said two words to them. Follow. After all, her figure rushed forward in an instant, and Karu and Hits also followed. And not far behind the three of Isa, in the dense forest, three ninjas with root masks on their faces hid their breath in the dark. Looking at the three of Yisa who left, 
one of them said aloud. Taki, why didn't you just kill the three little ghosts from Union Village? Hearing this, Taki, who had a faceless mask on his face among the three, said coldly. We haven't reached the desert of wind and sand yet. When we get to that desert, killing them is the safest thing. Hearing this, the other two also nodded, and then the three of them disappeared into the forest. Front. Among the candidates in Hidden Sand Village, a man with a white bandage over his right eye put down his right hand, which was performing the operation, and said. Not far ahead is the desert of wind and sand in our village. It's finally here, I really can't stand the group of guys in the back. That's right, I can't stand it anymore. When we get to the desert of wind and sand, we will separate immediately. At that time, with our familiarity with the desert, they will definitely not be able to catch up with us. Not far away, Yi Kang looked suspiciously and vigilantly at the surrounding situation. She could feel that there was an inexplicable gaze that was peeping at her just now. The chakra in the body is ready, as long as the enemy is discovered by her, Yi Kang will immediately release the prepared blood succession limit ninjutsu. However, after waiting for a long time, the enemy never appeared. Doubt flashed across Yi Kang's eyes. Could it be that the peeping just now was an illusion? Ahead is the desert of wind and sand. Finally reached. Let's go in quickly. Looking at the excited fellow villager beside him, Yi Kang turned his head to look behind him with a thoughtful expression. I saw that there were two figures behind them flickering towards them. It's those two Konoha candidates. Yi Kang looked up, a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. She recognized the two people who were following behind them, it was Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi who arrived at the central tower that day in the third team. I didn't expect that it would be the two of them who followed. Yi Kang, we should go. Others, they have all entered the sandstorm desert. The short girl came to Yi Kang's side and reminded him. Hearing this, Yi Kang nodded, turned around, and asked the little girl. Dunzi, is there a way for you to hide our tracks from Bayan's insight? Is it the white-eyed child from the Hyuga family in the central tower last time? However, I still have a way to avoid Bayan's pursuit and hide my tracks, but it may not last long. It doesn't matter, Bayan's observation distance is also limited. As long as we leave the observation range quickly while hiding, he won't be able to find us in a short time. Dunzi looked back curiously, and then took out a handful of crystal-like transparent gravel from the ninja tool bag on his waist. Under the sunshine of the desert, it reflects colorful light. Yi Kang, come to me. Seeing Yi Kang coming to his side, Dunzi sprinkled the crystal-like transparent gravel in his hands into the air like a goddess scattering flowers, and landed on the bodies of the two. Afterwards, Dunzi formed a seal with his hands, and the bodies of the two of them gradually became transparent and disappeared, just like an invisibility technique. Clap. Clap. Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi fell down, looking at the wind and sand desert ahead, Kakashi's eyes showed surprise. This is the desert of wind and sand. It's really barren and dilapidated. I saw that the land covered by yellow sand was very barren and dilapidated, and there were very few species full of vitality such as animals, water sources, and plants. At this time, a high-pitched and sharp sound suddenly came from the sky, completely suppressing the sound from the desert. Several shadows with large bodies fell from the sky and shrouded the desert. Hinata looked up for a moment, and there were a bunch of birds circling in the sky, and he opened his white eyes to observe them carefully. Psychic Beast from Bai Yan's perspective, the birds hovering in the sky all have a not-so-rare amount of chakra. And the eagle surrounded and protected by them has a lot of chakra in its body, so it should be the leader of their flock. Kakashi also saw the flock of birds circling in the sky, a thought flashed in his eyes, and he confirmed it to Hinata Setsuna. Those flocks of birds are the psychic beasts in charge of this exam. Well, they have chakra in their bodies, and it is roughly confirmed that they are used by Hidden Sand Village to invigilate the Chunin exam. Hayuga Setsuna moved his eyes away from the sky, and looked towards the barren wind and sand desert in front of him. Suddenly, his brows frowned. Disappeared. No. No, it's hidden. Knowing that I have white eyes, so I hid my tracks in advance. Through the perspective of white eyes, Hinata Setsuna found that within a radius of 5 kilometers, Yi Kang's figure seemed to have evaporated, and he could not be found at all. 
As for the other Shikaku candidates, they will be able to observe at that time, but what Hinata Setsuna is looking for is Hakura. After thinking for a while, Hinata Setsuna invoked chakra and sent it to Bai Yan with more force. Still none. After injecting a large amount of chakra into the white eyes, Yi Kang still did not appear in the desert within 5 kilometers in front of him. Hinata Setsuna frowned, whispered with affirmation in her words. It's the secret technique of sand hiding. In a moment, you can't find them with your supercilious eyes. Looking at the barren desert in front of him, Kakashi also felt that it was tricky. If he couldn't find someone who was familiar with the desert, the two of them would not be able to find the stronghold to clear the hidden sand. It would be fine if the examiner left clues, but the rules he announced did not include clues. Hinata Setsuna nodded and said. The secret technique they performed, I can't find it with my current white eyes. However, their secret technique shouldn't last for too long. As long as they can't hold on anymore, I'm using my white eyes to see their positions. In fact, if he opened Tenseiken, even if it was incomplete, he could see Yi Kang's current figure in an instant. Looking at the endless wind and sand desert in front of him, Kakashi said in distress. Then where should we go now? Choose one and go, let's see our own luck. Luck. Looking at Setsuna Hayuga who was already walking towards the desert, Kakashi also reluctantly followed. If it depends on luck, then the two of them are doomed not to pass the level. In the barren desert, the scorching sun in the sky casts a scorching brilliance. Near a dilapidated and messy altar, a young man with red hair walked in front, and behind him, a black-haired man in a coma walked like a mechanical puppet, full of stiffness. If you look carefully, you will find several light blue chakra lines on the hands and five fingers of the red-haired boy in front. It is with these chakra lines that the man behind can walk in a coma. Boom. Accompanied by a loud noise, the unconscious black-haired man was placed in the center of the altar full of mysterious runes. The handsome red-haired boy took out the water bag from his arms, stepped forward, helped the black-haired man up, and poured the gray liquid in the water bag into his mouth. Gudong. Gudong. Cough cough. As the gray liquid in the water bag continued to pour in, the black-haired man coughed and woke up. Opening his hazy eyes, the black-haired man looked at the red-haired boy in front of him with clear eyes, and asked angrily. Scorpion, what are you doing? Why are you doing it to me? After finishing speaking, the black-haired man wanted to wave away the water bag in front of him, but found that his body could not move. Even the chakra in the body cannot be used. Looking at the black-haired man who woke up, Xie put away the water bag, and said with an obsessed look in his eyes. Liang Yu, I have found the eternal art. Eternal art. What is it? Does this have anything to do with your sudden attack on me? Because this eternal art needs your help, Liang Yu. Hearing this, Liang Yu subconsciously breathed a sigh of relief, and said without struggling. So you asked me for help, you said earlier, I'm your good friend, I will definitely help you. Liang Yu, will you really help me? Of course, as a good friend, wouldn't I help you? Xie. Quickly untie it for me, otherwise I won't be able to move, how can I help you? Hearing this, Xie shook his head, walked in front of Liang Yu, blocked the rays of the scorching sun in the sky, and the shadow enveloped his body. She lowered her head slightly, her red hair reflected a strange light under the sunlight, and Scorpion had a weird and fanatical smile on her face. No, no, Liang Yu, you just need to lie down and don't resist. Lie down, lie down. Liang Yu's astonished eyes met Shang Xia's fanatical smile and obsessed eyes, and suddenly felt that the scorching air around him became cold and cold, and his heart sank a little bit. The sun slowly descended from the horizon, and the sky became darker and darker. Sand. 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 Footsteps stepped on the dry gravel, making a frictional sound. Phew, the weather in this desert of wind and sand is really unpredictable. The temperature in the daytime has reached above 40 degrees, and now it's cooling down so fast. Kakashi tightened his white robe, feeling the extreme temperature difference between day and night, exhaled a breath of white air. With pure white eyes in both eyes, Hayuga Setsuna looked at this vast and boundless desert. Well, there's a place to rest over there, Kakashi comes with me. After all, he jumped off the sand dune formed by the sand pile and ran towards the distance. Kakashi followed closely behind. Not long after, the two came to a cave formed by sand walls. 
He piled up the firewood he had picked up with great difficulty, and the rising flames began to burn in the cave, driving away the coldness of the desert night. Kakashi. Hayuga Setsuna took out a few boxes of canned food from the ninja bag and threw them in Kakashi's direction. With a snap, Kakashi successfully relied on the thrown can and looked at him in surprise. Setsuna, I didn't expect that you prepared Ueniyuju's canned food. Preparing important water sources and food, isn't this the necessary basis for desert survival? Could it be that you haven't even prepared these most basic things? Hearing Hanada Setsuna's question, Kakashi's face under the mask flashed embarrassment. During the two days of rest, how could he have time to prepare these things, he had been training knife skills and physical skills at that time. Opening the can in his hand, Kakashi stuffed it in his mouth. Didn't you take this with you? Hearing this, Hinata Setsuna shook his head, a look of helplessness flashed across his face. Sure enough, Kakashi in childhood is definitely not the same person as Kakashi in adulthood. Standing up and walking towards the outside of the cave, Hinata Setsuna's crisp voice came. Kakashi, we will take turns keeping vigil tonight, the first half of the night will be handed over to me, and the second half night will be handed over to you. No problem. When he came outside the cave, he took out the sealing scroll from the ninja bag, and with a, bang, a thick scroll appeared in Hinata Setsuna's hands. Open the scroll in your hand and read the contents carefully. This scroll was obtained from Mr. Hayuga Yusuk, and it contained some ninjutsu from C level to B level. At that time, Hayuga Yusuke had told him when he came to ask for this scroll. Their Hayuga clan was born unable to use all kinds of escapism. Because the chakra in their bodies does not have the five attributes of wind, water, fire, thunder, and earth. As for the shadow clone or clone technique, it can be used, and the use of these techniques does not contain chakra in attributes. However, Hayuga Setsuna is different from other Hayuga clansmen, his physique and genes are already close to his grandmother. Relying on his unusual physique, maybe he can really succeed in studying. On a desert beach five kilometers away from Hayuga Seta, the figures of Yi Kang and Dunzi appeared in front of a pile of sand dunes. Puff, puff, the sharp kanai and shuriken pierced through the thin gravel on the ground. Dunzi tightened his clothes, took out the small scroll buried in the gravel, and complained. Really, why did you bury the clues so deep? However, you are still smart, Yi Kang. Sure enough, it is impossible not to give us clues in this exam. She got up and put away Kanai and the shuriken, and handed the scroll in her hand to Hakura. Taking the scroll, Yi Kang opened it carefully with a complexion. Southeast, three kilometers away, the next clue. Looking at the information in the scroll, Yi Kang and Dunzi's complexion suddenly turned dark. What? Southeast, three kilometers, isn't that the direction we just came from? Really, who the hell came up with the exam questions this time? Dunzi complained unhappily. He thought he had found the location of the stronghold, but he didn't expect it to be such a wicked clue. Yi Kang put away the scroll in his hand and looked towards the desert in the southeast. Dunzi, stop complaining. Let's go in this direction first. The weather in the desert starts to change again at night. Find a place to rest first. We'll look for it tomorrow. Hearing this, Dunzi had no choice but to follow Yi Kang to find a place to rest. And more than 10 kilometers away from Yi Kang and the others, a massacre was taking place. PFF. PFF. Taki withdrew the standard short knife in his hand from the body in front of him, blood also splashed out. The other two root ninjas rushed over after solving their respective opponents. Taki, do you want to continue assassinating according to the list? Looking at the increasingly violent changes in the weather and dust at night, Taki stared into the distance with cold eyes. Find a place to rest first, and look for the people on the list tomorrow. The other two nodded in agreement, and then the figures of the three ran towards one of the directions. And on the opposite side in this direction are Yi Kang and Dunzi. Boom. 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 Outside the cave, Hinata Setsuna clutched his heart with a solemn expression, feeling the violent beating of the heart in his body. This feeling. What is it? The white eyes in both eyes opened involuntarily, and even changed to Tenseiken. Sky blue star-like rays of light began to appear in his eyes, and Hinata Setsuna stared at the fluctuations from the desert in the distance. Is this the fluctuation formed by chakra? 
In the insight perspective of Tenseiyin, waves of light blue chakra fluctuations are gradually transmitted from the distant desert. However, even if it changes into Tenseiken and continuously expands the field of vision, it is still impossible to gain insight into the source of this fluctuation. That large amount of chakra gathered by this land was artificially released. Itsuki Kegaya's voice rang faintly in his ears. At the same time, the transmitted chakra fluctuations will suddenly disappear and enter Hinata Setsuna's body when passing by Hinata Setsuna's body. While strengthening his physique along the way, it will also continuously flow into the body of Otsutsuki Kegaya in the forbidden space. Feeling the slowly increasing physique and chakra for a moment, Hinata frowned slightly, thinking inwardly. The chakra condensed in this land is the power of the dragon veins of the ancient country of Lulin. The power of the dragon veins was released by that guy from Inlution. In other words, Naruto Uzumaki is coming. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya relied on his own strength to continuously absorb the chakra fluctuations transmitted from the outside world, feeling the gradually filling chakra in his body, with a satisfied look on his face. All chakras belong to concubines. The white eyes in her eyes can clearly see the source of the chakra fluctuations. It was a dragon-like shape. In the desert of wind and sand, the blue chakra fluctuations began to become more and more violent, and after reaching the peak of a certain moment, it suddenly shrank inward and disappeared completely. It was as if the violent chakra fluctuation just now was just like a dream. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya's expression changed, and he muttered with dissatisfaction on his face. The concubine hasn't finished absorbing it yet. The white eyes in the eyes opened, staring at the huge chakra dragon vein, with a look of hope and desire on his face. Outside, Setsuna Hayuga breathed a sigh of relief after observing through Tenseigen that the oppressive chakra fluctuations disappeared. The violent and oppressive fluctuations just now made people very uncomfortable, as if they were forcing others to carry a heavy load. At this moment, Otsutsuki Kegaya's voice came from beside his ear. Setsuna, let's go over there. Accompanied by the sound, there was something like a cursor exuding chakra, flashing before Hinata Setsuna's eyes. Holding the constantly flickering cursor in the palm of his hand, Hinata Setsumo stroked his hair in distress. Grandma, we can't go now either, why don't we go after this exam is over? Anyway, no one can take advantage of the chakra source with such a strong reaction. In his opinion, no one can use the power of the dragon veins, except for the queen of the country Lulin, even that fellow and Lucian can only use it. Where is the real dragon vein power that these guys can use? Hearing this, Otsutsuki Kegaya was stunned, and the white eyes in his eyes looked at the location of the dragon vein. After finding out that no one can really pry and use it, her heart is also at ease. Okay, let's go next time. After getting Itsuki Kegaya's consent, Hinata Setsuna also heaved a sigh of relief, he was really afraid that his grandmother would insist on going over. He picked up the scroll that had been thrown on the ground and continued reading. At the border of the sandy desert. Taking advantage of the night, dozens of figures in black gathered in a cave in the desert. They stood quietly among them, listening attentively to the speech of the leader in front of them. For this mission, we only need to slaughter the ninja candidates for this Chunin exam. The main goal is the four great ninja villages. The list of ninjas who need to be slaughtered has been distributed to you. In the next four days, all you need to do is slaughter these ninja candidates. Do not leave a single one behind. On the high platform built of gravel, a masked man in black gave the order to kill with cold eyes. And after he gave the order, dozens of figures in the cave disappeared instantly, and scattered towards the desert outside. Clap. Clap. In the quiet and dark cave, there was the sound of clear and resounding footsteps, and a man shrouded in black robes came to the gravel platform. Is it worth it? These are the dead men you have cultivated with great difficulty, and you just send them all out in one go. It's just some dead men without feelings, it doesn't matter how many you die. Besides, it's impossible for Sha Yin's support troops to find out. The psychic beasts they used to supervise the exam have long been deceived. Hearing this, the man covered in black sneered playfully. Two days later, in the scorching wasteland desert, Hinata Setsuna ignited chakra flames in both hands, and cast a soft fist, 64 palms, to knock out the man in black in front of him. 
The moment the black-clothed man who was sent flying fell to the ground, a puffy white chakra flame blazed from his body, burning him to death. Only a pile of gray-black embers were left on the spot, blown away by the wind and sand in the desert and disappearing. Hinata Setsuna just watched this scene indifferently. In these two days, he and Kakashi had been attacked for the third time. Some attacked them in the dark of night, some attacked them openly, and some tried to kill them with poison. At first, he thought about capturing it alive, and then asked who was behind the scenes. But after this group of black-clothed men are defeated, they will ignite flames similar to fire escape, burning themselves to death. They are a group of dead soldiers who have been trained by cruel training, and they only have missions in their eyes. Whoosh. On the other side, after Kakashi successfully dealt with his opponent, he came to his side in a flash. Setsuna, this Chunin exam probably won't last. Although the strength of these dead soldiers in black is not very strong, they have reached the level of Chunin. They couldn't kill Hyuga Setsuna and Kakashi at all, but for other candidates, the situation might not be so good. Hyuga raised his head in an instant, looking at the flock of birds flying in the sky not far away, with doubts flashing in his eyes. Why, these psychic beasts that Sha Yin used to invigilate the exam, didn't find these things? Could it be that this massacre was arranged by Sha Yin? But what's the point of such a massacre, or do they want to use this exam to start a war? Kakashi, let's get out of here first. After all, the two ran towards the direction they came from. If at this time, someone flies into the sky of this barren desert. You will find that killings are everywhere in the entire desert, no matter which village the candidates are, they are all facing the pursuit of these dead men in black. PFF. Taki, with a faceless mask on his face and many scars on his body, stabbed the dagger into the throat of the dead man in black with cold eyes. Not far from him, two ninjas with roots had fallen to the ground and died. Taki came to the two of them, took out the detonating talisman from his body and pasted it on their bodies, then turned and left. The companion who deals with death at the root is so cruel and cold. After all, if the corpses of these dead companions are obtained by other ninja villages, some information may be extracted. So the safest way is to put detonating symbols on them, so that there will be no bones left in the explosion. In this case, even other ninja villages will not get any useful information. In a barren desert Gobi Desert, Yi Kang took out a transparent leech from the ninja tool bag with a gloomy expression, and put it on the unconscious Dunzi. As the leeches covered her body, the unconscious Tunzi gradually woke up, speaking bitterly. Yi Kang, I'm sorry, I'm the one who dragged you down. Opposite her, Yi Kang's upper body clothes were damaged, and there were several deep wounds on his snow-white skin. Yi Kang lifted her up, took out the pouch containing the water source and placed it near her mouth, with a heavy expression on his face. Dunzi, we have to rush back to the village, something unexpected happened in this Chunin exam. We must inform the village in time. The wind and sand swept across the barren yellow land, and a long and dull falcon's cry floated in the sky along with the thick gravel sound. Push, push, the gray and black eagle fell from the desert sky. Manakame raised his right arm and took the task in the envelope from the eagle's slender talons. It's a mission from the village, Minato. Opening the black lacquer of the envelope, and carefully reading the contents, Minato Namikaze's eyes flashed with surprise, and then, with apology on his face, he half bowed to Nara Shikahisa and the others. I'm sorry, Lu Ju, I need to perform another task. The Chunin exam here is left to the three of you. Hearing this, Nara Shikahisa waved his hand with a normal face. Don't worry, this Chunin exam will be handed over to the three of us, Inakacho. Kaichi Yamanaka also gave him a thumbs up. With us here, you can rest assured. Akamichi Dingza wiped the sweat from his face, and handed the remaining snacks in his pocket to Minato Namikaze. Minato, just accept these snacks, you still have to perform tasks, how can you do it if you don't fill your stomach? Seeing Akamichi Dingza hand over the snacks with a serious face, Minato Namikaze did not refuse, he took it with a gentle smile on his face and carefully put it in his arms. Thank you, Ding Zuo. Then, I'll leave it to you guys here. After the words fell, his figure disappeared in front of this sand house made of gravel. And not long after Namikaze Minato disappeared, a man with a sand ninja forehead guard on his forehead came to the sand house and knocked on the door. Boom boom boom. 
Everyone in Konoha, something unexpected happened in this Chunin exam. Snapped. The door was opened, and the serious faces of Nara Shikahisa and the three appeared in front of him. What's going on? Everyone of Konoha, please come with me to the central room and you will find out. After all, San Shinobu, with cold sweat on his face, led Nara Shikahisa and the others hurriedly towards the central room of this stronghold. Walking in this stronghold established by San Gakar, Nara Shikahisa looked thoughtfully at San Shinobi who was walking around nervously. What happened in the Chunin exam this time? The four hurried to the front of the central room, and with a click, the door was opened. As soon as Nara Shikahisa and the others entered the central room, they heard a loud noise, accompanied by debris of gravel and sawdust. Why did all your support troops from Sand Hidden go? Didn't you realize that there was such a big accident in the Chunin exam this time? We have already sent people to support, and the other party used unknown means to cover up our monitoring. Looking at the three people in the central room who were constantly arguing and arguing, Nara Shikahisa wiped the grit splashed on his face with a calm expression. 3. Can I ask, what happened in the Chunin exam this time? Seeing the arrival of the three Konohas, the three of them who were arguing gradually calmed down. The representative of Yenian village looked at Ebizo on the opposite side of the round table with an ugly expression. Hey, you sane are you going to explain? Ebizo, who also had an ugly face, just glanced at the other party lightly, and then explained the ins and outs to Nara Shikaku and the other three aloud. The reason is that Chio, who is hidden in the sand, led the perception force to look for someone outside. As a result, it was unexpectedly discovered that an unknown ninja force was attacking the ninja candidates for this Chunin exam. And the psychic beast that Sha Yin used to invigilate the Chunin exam was deceived by the enemy with unknown means, so they never found out about it. After listening to Ebizo's narration, Nara Shikahisa crossed his hands on the round table made of gravel, and asked him with a solemn expression. You sane are looking for someone. Is this related to this Chunin exam? This is about our Sha Yin, and has nothing to do with your other ninja villages. Seeing Hai Lao Zhang's expressionless retort, the representative of Union Village on the other side of the round table said with a sneer. Who knows if it was deliberately arranged by Yu Sha Yin Village, looking for someone, or attacking candidates. Our hidden sand village will not do this. Shikahisa Nara pulled his black hair and asked Ebizo. Since your original psychic beasts have been blinded, are you sending another batch of psychic beasts to monitor and rescue again? We sent another batch there right away, but according to the information we have so far, most of the candidates have been massacred and attacked. The remaining small number of candidates, with a high probability, escaped the attack and looked for a place to hide temporarily. Hearing Ebizo's explanation, Shikahisa Nara looked calm and continued to ask him. Have you confirmed the positions of the remaining candidates? No, the desert of wind and sand is too big. Even if we send out all the psychic beasts, it is impossible to find ninjas who are hiding. Nara Shikahisa was silent for a moment, then turned to look at Kaichi Yamanaka behind him. Hai Yi, please use the heaven and earth scroll to inform the candidates. The content of the notice is that the Chunin exam will be cancelled and at the same time, the location of the stronghold will be disclosed to the candidates. Hearing this, Yamanaka High nodded solemnly, sat down cross-legged without the slightest hesitation, and began to communicate with the heaven and earth scrolls on the candidates. Hey, Konoha, is it really okay to leak the stronghold? What if those who attacked got the scroll of heaven and earth? Looking at the representative of Union Village who asked questions, Nara Shikahisa answered calmly. If those ninjas who attacked really came to the stronghold, then maybe we can relax a little bit. As long as they go to the stronghold to intercept and slaughter the candidates, then we only need to deploy in advance and kill all those who come. As for candidates, after being notified by the scroll of heaven and earth, their choice is not important. Whether it is going to the stronghold, or staying where they are and waiting for rescue. Our purpose is to attract those ninja troops who hold the heaven and earth scrolls, and create opportunities for those candidates to escape. Hearing his answer, all the people present were stunned, and after a while, Hai Laozang looked at him cautiously. You are Nara Shikahisa from Konoha village. Shikahisa Nara nodded with a normal expression, frankly admitting his identity. The eyes of several other people in the central room also moved slightly, and they all looked at the two behind him, whispering in their hearts. 
the pig deer butterfly in Muya village. And Akamichi Dingza looked at Shikahisa Nara proudly. Afterwards, the two quietly moved their positions, forming a two-person protective circle, protecting the unsuspecting Yamanaka Kaichi who was communicating with the heaven and earth scrolls. After all, the heart of defense is indispensable, and this is not Muya village. In the sky where the scorching sun was floating, a large number of birds and falcons gradually gathered, and their sharp eyes reflected the movements of the desert below. Boom. A black-clothed dead man with gray-black hair was spitting white-gray foam at the mouth, and his body collapsed on the scorching desert. The delicate-looking scorpion withdrew his hand from the dead man, and turned his head indifferently to look at the crowd not far behind him. Grandma, that old woman and the perception team are catching up. I didn't expect those puppets left behind to be dealt with so quickly. Xie Wei frowned, took out poison and some traps from his bosom, and placed them in the surrounding environment, perfectly blending with the desert environment. At the same time, several light blue chakra threads appeared in the hands of the scorpion, and slowly floated into the body of the black-clothed dead soldier, blending with him. Looking at the set trap, Xie just wanted to turn around and leave, but unexpectedly, a faint light burst out from the arms of the dead man in black who had been killed by the poison. Looking at the ray of light, Shia's face was indifferent, with a slightly curious look in his eyes, he took out the gloves from his arms, put them on, and stretched out his hand to take out the glowing thing. Scrolls of Heaven and Earth. Looking at the two scrolls with faint light in his hand, Shia opened them curiously. As he continued to read, a playful smile hung on the corner of Shia's mouth, and his eyes were indifferent. Then let's go here. After the words fell, his figure disappeared in this barren desert. Not long after, several figures wearing bamboo hats appeared in the desert accompanied by violent sandstorms. Looking at the dead man in black who died of poisoning, and the woman with a white silk scarf on her face, her eyes froze. Lord Chio, this guy, unlike the previous ones, did not disappear by self-immolation. This guy, probably because of the poison of the scorpion, didn't have time to set himself on fire. Taking off the hat on her head, Chio looked dignified, took out some powder and sprinkled it on the gloves, put the gloves on, she stepped forward, stretched out two fingers to stick on the throat of the dead man in black. Scorpion, what are you doing? After withdrawing the two fingers protruding from the throat of the dead man in black, Chio looked uncertainly at the direction of the desert where the scorpion left. Hey! Hey! At this moment, the figures of two men ran over from the distant desert. Standing up and putting on the bamboo hat, Chio looked at the two men beside him with a questioning expression on his face. Have you found any traces of Liang Yu? Master Chio, there is no trace of Liang Yu in that abandoned altar. Hearing the two's answers, Chio nodded silently, this matter was within her expectation. Since Xie would personally take away the child Liang Yu, it might not be so easy to find him. Bring this corpse back to Hidden Sand Village, and let the ninjas who inspect it study the information on this guy. Hearing Chio's order, a man and a woman agreed aloud, with their hands wearing antivirus gloves, they carefully touched the body of the dead man in black. And just when the two touched the body of the black-clothed dead man, his body suddenly began to shake violently. The surrounding barren desert layer sank even more abruptly, and even highly poisonous insects kept crawling out from the bottom of the desert, attacking Chio and the others. At the moment when the corpse was shaking, Chio's eyes narrowed, and he loudly reminded the people around him. Be careful, it's a scorpion's trap. She took out the sealing scroll from her bosom, summoned several puppets, and manipulated them to kill the poisonous insects and poisons that kept coming. Just as the poisons and poisonous insects continued to die and subside, a thick gray-black poisonous fog began to continuously float out on the ground of the surrounding desert. And the trembling corpse of the black-clothed dead man broke free from the shackles of the two men strangely, stood up, pulled out Kanai, and suddenly attacked and killed the other two unsuspecting men. Seeing this scene, Chio whispered in shock. Puppet. Chio, who didn't have time to step forward to help, could only control several puppets beside him, and rescued several people who were caught in the poisonous fog in the attack. Arriving on another desert beach, Chio cautiously looked at the puppet of the black-clothed dead soldier following in front of him. Sand. Sand. The puppet of the dead man in black walked stiffly on the desert, and stopped slowly in front of Chio. Under her shocked gaze, he spoke with a cold and stiff voice. Grandma, 
You old woman, stop following me. If you continue to follow, I will not continue to show mercy to you. After saying this, the puppet of the dead man in black collapsed on the ground, as if the scene just now was just a dream. Looking at the scene just now, Chio, who had a fiery temper, rarely calmed down. After a while, beside her, a woman with a white silk scarf on her face, with a look of lingering fear on her face, patted her flat chest and said hesitantly. Master Chio, do you still need to recycle that corpse? Hearing this, Chio's expression froze for a moment, and then he spoke with a sigh. Recycle. We must investigate where these ninjas came from. Yes. Looking at the body of the dead man in black, after being carefully recovered by the two, Chio waved at them and said. All of you go back together. Tell Hai Laozang about the information this time, and by the way, tell him the news that the poison can effectively prevent these people from setting themselves on fire. If it's from the scorpion, I'll go after it by myself. After saying this, she looked at several people with a serious expression. This is an order. Looking at the serious Chio in front of them, several people looked at each other in blank dismay, and could only reluctantly agree. After these people left, Chio also turned around to follow the clues left by Xie, and chased in his direction. The flock of birds constantly flying around in the sky brought her the correct direction and position. Pat. In an unknown desert oasis, the figure of Namikaze Minato came to the gravel stone platform. The five seals of, Z, Yin, Chen, Si, and, Cho, were formed with both hands, and then one hand was pointed at the stone pestle in the shape of a gun. And this area looks like a real stone wall, but it made a, rumbling, sound, and the middle merged together, and the inseparable gap began to expand to both sides. Finally, a tunnel that can accommodate one person is formed. Seeing the tunnel that appeared in the middle of the rock, Minato Namikaze entered it without hesitation. As for the outside world, after Namikaze Minato entered, the separated stone pestle made a, rumbling, sound again, and the expanded tunnel was closed together again. Namikaze Minato walked in the tunnel with a dignified expression, and as he walked along the way, the candles embedded on the wall also ignited by themselves, illuminating the dark tunnel. Not long after, his figure appeared in front of the black painted wooden door, and with a click, the latch was opened. With the opening of the door, the dark space in the inner room was suddenly illuminated by the surrounding candles. Walking into the house, Namikaze Shui looked at the empty room with a gentle smile on his face. Come out. As the voice fell, two figures in Anbu costumes and masks suddenly appeared in the originally empty room. Lord Watergate. The voices of a man and a woman resounded in the empty house, even with a faint echo. Thank you for your hard work, Zimi and Bayou. Three generations of adults, where is the mission scroll? Looking at the two people in front of him, Namikaze Minato asked them, and after learning the mission information from the envelope, he rushed over without stopping. As for the specific tasks after that, it is on another task scroll. With an animal mask on her face, Bayou got up and took out a pitch black scroll from her arms, and handed it to Minato Namikaze. This pitch black scroll is a very important scroll. Except for giving it to a specific person to perform a specific ninjutsu, other people, even if they really get it, cannot unlock it. After taking the scroll, he carefully performed a specific ninjutsu and untied the pitch black scroll in his hand. With a bang, the scroll slowly unfolded, and Minato Namikaze interpreted the mission content described above with a solemn expression. The Queen of Lulin, the puppet, and Lucian. I see. After carefully reading the contents of the scroll, Namikaze Minato handed the jet black scroll to Shia and Bayou. As the two people who performed the mission together this time, they are qualified to know the specifics of the mission. I didn't know it before, because the scroll needs him, a specific person, to open it in person. After the two of them took the scroll and finished reading it, they closed the scroll and destroyed it by themselves. Now that such a secret scroll is opened and understood, the follow-up is to carry out the task. As for the scroll itself, it needs to be destroyed to prevent it from being obtained later. Now that we understand the mission, it's time for us to set off for Lulin. Namikaze Minato picked up the Anbu mask on the table and put it on his face, the size was just right. Hearing this, Bayou and Shia also nodded in agreement, they were originally sent by Serutobi Hirazan to assist Namikaze Minato in carrying out the mission. 
This Lulan mission is also led by Namikaze Minato as the captain. After tidying up the small stronghold, the three of them left here through the secret passage on the other side. Who? 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 In the barren Gobi desert under the scorching sun, the clothes on the upper body were damaged, and the snow-white skin was covered with dense blood-colored scars. Yi Kang was panting quickly, supporting the same seriously injured peer with both hands. Dunzi. Dunzi. Hey, Dunzi, don't fall asleep. Yi Kang looked to the right, her breathing was weak, her lips were dry, and her eyes flashed anxiously. The medical supplies have been completely used up by the two of them, even the extremely precious healing leeches were used up as early as last night. Even the most important water and food in the desert have been exhausted. Now they have nothing else on their bodies except for enduring suffering. He helped the seriously injured Tunzi to a shadow in the Gobi Desert, and carefully put her down. Looking at Tunzi, who was covered in blood, Yi Kang's eyes flashed with determination, and he put his hands on the clothes on his legs and feet, and violently tore them apart. Shish. The clothes on the legs and feet were torn into strips immediately, and the dressings such as gauze had been completely consumed. Now I can only use these things temporarily to bandage Dunzi's wound. Yi Kang carefully wrapped the clothes and fabrics on the wound where Dunzi's blood flowed out. With the end of the dressing, the blood on the surface was also under control. Seeing that the blood was no longer flowing from Dunzi's body, and his breathing began to gradually stabilize, Yi Kang also breathed a sigh of relief. Boom. The tense nerves were suddenly relaxed, and Yi Kang couldn't support his body suddenly, and fell into the shadow of the Gobi Desert. Lying on the sand wall, Yi Kang calmed down his rapid breathing, with a blank look in his eyes. Obviously the Chunin exams before that night were normal, why did so many ninjas suddenly attack after that night? In the past few days, she and Dunzi have been attacked by men in black clothes. Whether it is day or night, those guys will always carry out sneak attacks. And after she killed several men in black, there were still many men in black appearing. It's like it can't be killed at all. Even though Yi Kang has the blood inheritance limit of burning escape and is stronger than others, she can't resist such continuous attacks day and night. After all, her chakra is not infinite. Even yesterday, Dunzi couldn't hold on any longer. Yi Kang tried his best to move his body, ignoring the pain and numbness from the wound on his body, leaning his back on the sand wall behind him, staring blankly at the blood-colored sunset in the distant sky. Ah, the setting sun dyes the world red like blood, how many times can I watch the sun's final fate, this sad sky? Sand, sand, sand. Looking at the big sun falling into the horizon in the sky, Hayuga Setsumo scratched his black hair in distress, and shook the dangling compass in his hand vigorously. Really, why did we get lost? Even the compass has gone bad. Kakashi, who had just dealt with the dead man in black, looked at him expressionlessly and said. So I said a long time ago, I should walk according to my sense of direction. No, Kakashi, your sense of direction is wrong. After saying this, Hinata Setsuna tried to change the subject and said. Why do these dead men in black still follow us? Didn't all the information on the heaven and earth scrolls be shown to them? Hey, Setsuna, you, don't change the subject. Kakashi, don't slander me, I don't. Just as the two were arguing, a loud noise suddenly came from the desert wasteland not far from them. The two stopped arguing for a moment, Kakashi looked alert, holding Yukino with one hand, and guarding Hanada Setsuna's side. As for Hanada Setsuna, the white eyes in his eyes opened, and he looked towards the desert wasteland that was making a loud noise not far away. The person from Konoha. Who is it? He looked at the brown-haired figure in the desert wasteland with surprise in his eyes, and saw the iron holes next to the man's ears and the wooden leaf forehead guard on his forehead. In the boundless desert, Hayuga Setsuna and Kakashi came to a barren desert plain in the blink of an eye. Seeing the comatose brown-haired figure with half of his body sunk in the quicksand, Hinata Setsuna's eyes froze for a moment. This guy, isn't he the one who built the house with the power of mudden, remember what it's called. Tenzo, oh, no, it's Yamato. At this time, Itsuki Kagaya's voice reminded him. Setsu, you have to be careful, this human has the power of chakra and time and space. Grandma, have these powers on him been noticed by, those two guys? Hearing Hinata Setsuna's cautious inquiry, 
Otsutsuki Kegaya was stunned for a moment, and then immediately reacted. Don't worry, if Yuya and Yumura notice this place, they will be discovered by my concubine immediately. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's words, Hinata Setsuna's heart slowly relaxed. Since neither Itsuki Yuromo nor Otsutsuki Yumura paid attention to this place, the risk of him being exposed is very small. Looking at the comatose Yamato below, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed with thought. Did the power of Lulin's dragon veins bring him to this timeline? Or now that Yamato has appeared. So, in other words, Naruto Uzumaki has also arrived. Setsuna, come help. Come down and grab it. I saw Kakashi's figure appearing beside Yamato, with his feet attached to Chakra, stepping on the quicksand, and grabbing him with both hands. Seeing the strenuous Kakashi, Hinata Setsuna mobilized the Chakra in his body, circulated it into his hands, and swung a palm towards the quicksand below. Gossip empty palm. An invisible wave appeared from his hands, and it slammed heavily on the quicksand. With a loud bang, Kakashi's figure appeared above him with Yamato. Kakashi, who was covered in gravel, dragged Yamato with one hand, looking at Setsuna Hinata with resentful eyes. Can't you help in another way? It's more convenient and faster. Hinata Setsuna retorted nonchalantly. Hearing this, Kakashi, who took off his mask and cleaned the gravel in his mouth, rolled his eyes. As for Yamato, he had already been thrown to the desert by Kakashi, lying pitifully on the scorching gravel. After cleaning the grit in his mouth with water, Kakashi looked at the unconscious Yamato and said curiously. How did this guy appear in the desert of wind and sand? Also, is there such a JNIN in our village? Looking at the Janin Best in Konoha village forehead guard on Yamato, Kakashi dragged his chin with one hand and thought. Hayuga Setsuke didn't answer, and came to Yamato's side, groping and searching on him. On the side, Kakashi looked at Setsuna Hinata who suddenly stepped forward to move his hands and feet, and said hesitantly. Setsuna, wouldn't this be bad, he's a Janin anyway. Kakashi, you are not curious, why did he appear in the desert of wind and sand? He is still in a coma. Hearing this, Kakashi, who was still hesitating at first, also stepped forward, silently and Hinata Setsuna to make a move on the unconscious Yamato. He was indeed curious about this comatose Janin. And Kakashi, who was groping and searching, suddenly sneezed involuntarily, took a breath, touched his nose, and whispered suspiciously in his eyes. Why does it always feel like someone is talking about me? Is it Obito or Kai? Shaking his head, he didn't take this matter to heart again. As the two continued to speed up their exploration, Hayuga Setsuna finally found a photo located in Yamato's heart. Hayuga Setsuna pulled out the photo, put it in front of his eyes, and looked at Kakashi strangely. Kakashi, is this you? What? With a curious face, Kakashi moved his body and looked over. When he saw the silver-haired figure in the photo, Kakashi's pupils shrank suddenly, and he looked at Setsuna Hayuga silently. Moment. Kakashi. The two people who glanced at each other had a tacit understanding and didn't talk, but silently put the photo away. Afterwards, the two tacitly speeded up their progress and continued to search and fumble for the items on Yamato. In a remote area in the desert of wind and sand, there are stretches of ancient buildings erected. And this is the ancient country of Lulin. The towering hexagonal buildings, at first glance, seem to be inserted into the sky, and the surrounding ancient ruins make this city look very long. Hey, hey, hey. A yellow figure kept flickering in the building complex. The six diamond-shaped buildings are reflected in the blue pupils of the yellow-haired boy. He has been here for a long time, but during the search and observation period, he did not find any traces of people other than the guards. Where did the people except the guards go? Also, what about Captain Yamato, Sakura, and Sai? Among so many buildings, there is no one living in them. Ah. It's so annoying. If only Kakashi Sensei was here, he will definitely analyze a lot of things. The blonde haired boy scratched his hair irritably. This seemingly super complicated mission event was obviously completely beyond the scope of what he could solve independently. Analyzing the surrounding environment and mission information is simply not what he is good at. Thinking of this, the boy couldn't help but miss Kakashi, who was recuperating in Konoha Hospital. Suddenly, Heavy mechanical footsteps came from the building outside, and the yellow-haired boy immediately hid himself. 
Crack, crack, crack. Several guards in silver wood armor came in from the outside, stopped and observed for a while before the building where the boy was hiding, and then they left again with heavy and mechanically stiff footsteps. These guys in armor are puppets. That Bezu must have created these puppet guards to make the people here disappear. Looking at the puppet armored guards who were gradually going away, the yellow-haired boy's eyes were full of anger. The mission he, Captain Yamato and Sakura received was to deal with that fellow Mozuzu. And Bezu tries to use the chakra power of the dragon veins to threaten the entire ninja world, so as to achieve the goal of ruling the ninja world. However, what puzzled the yellow-haired boy most was why he appeared here. His last memory is that he and Captain Yamato were swept and enveloped by a huge beam of energy light, and when he woke up later, he appeared here inexplicably. Obviously, they were still tracking Bezu in the dilapidated Lulin before. It doesn't matter, since Captain Yamato, Sakura, and Sai cannot be found, let's stop that Mozuzu first. The yellow-haired boy scratched his hair impatiently, he decided to go to that fellow Bezu first, and prevent him from using the power of dragon veins to start a war. As for Captain Yamato, Sakura, and Sai, it won't be too late to find them after the centipedes are settled. In a desert oasis not far from the desert of wind and sand, three figures were moving forward quickly. These three figures are Namikaze Minato, Bayu, and Shimi. With a short distance, we will be able to reach Lulin smoothly. Namikaze Minato said aloud, not far away, Lulin's mysterious ancient hexagonal-shaped buildings gradually appeared in front of the three of them. That is Lulin. It really looks spectacular. Looking at the towering Lulin buildings in the distance, Bayou's dark pupils showed shock. Not far from her, GMI, who was silent, also nodded in agreement. Different from other villages of ninja villages, this kind of mysterious ancient buildings that go straight into the sky can really bring people a sense of visual shock. When we arrive in Lulin, Zimi and I will go in first to look for the queen. If by you, you should take this opportunity to investigate the information about that minister and Lucian. Namikaze Minato gave an order aloud, and assigned the two of them their own tasks. He had never performed missions with GMI and Bayou before, so their respective fighting styles were not clear. Therefore, in terms of assigning tasks and responsibilities, it is only as reasonable as possible. After about an hour or two, the three of them crossed the oasis in the desert and finally arrived at the outskirts of Lulin. Here is a sandy cliff formed of gravel. Lulin was built in a desert basin. Standing in this position, the three of them could faintly see part of Lulin. Looking at this special hexagonal building complex, a hint of surprise flashed in Namikaze Minato's eyes. His perception ability can perceive how huge chakra power is hidden on this land. Even if you haven't entered Lulin to observe it yourself, you can already feel it faintly. After Namikaze Minato turned his head and nodded to Shimi, the figures of the two disappeared on the sandy cliff. Bai Yu, on the other hand, used her own blood inheritance to escape through the limit, sneaked into Lulin invisibly, and obtained information from the minister and Lucian. In Lulin, the figure of the yellow-haired boy came to the roof of the building and squatted down. Looking not far away, there were several teams of puppets in armor holding weapons and coming from all directions. Hands nodded. Shadow clone technique. Bang. Bang. As a whirl of white smoke spread, dozens of shadow clones suddenly appeared in front of the yellow-haired boy. Hey. 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 The shadow clones that appeared, in a group of three, rushed towards the armored puppets. And the yellow-haired boy followed the shadow clones and rushed towards the puppets who came. I saw two shadow clones behind them, with their hands on the hands of the yellow-haired boy, condensing chakras, rubbing them continuously, and a light blue ball of light appeared. Spiral pills. With the cooperation of the shadow clone, the yellow-haired boy condensed a light blue sphere of spiral pills in both hands, and pressed hard on the armored puppet. Boom. I saw the two puppets spinning and flying upside down as if hit by a shock wave. At the same time, the two shadow clones behind them also moved forward quickly, locking their eyes on the remaining armored puppets who were not within the range of ninjutsu. Relying on the kneading of the shadow clone, the blonde-haired boy continuously poured the huge Chidunla into his body, and the light blue sphere in his hand began to grow bigger and bigger. The armored puppet stared at the suddenly enlarged helix pill, and froze in place for a moment. Deus spiral pill. Boom. The next moment, the armored puppet was hit immediately, 
and its entire body was firmly pressed to the ground, and the slabs on the ground began to shatter and shatter continuously as if they were collapsing. And the dense armor worn by the puppet was shattered and split in an instant. At the same time, several teams of guards coming from all directions were also defeated by the shadow clones of the yellow-haired boy. However, even with the high density and powerful destructive power of the Deu Helix pill, it only shattered their outer armor. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. At this time, on a high platform in Lulin, a faint purple energy light suddenly began to surge, turning into a fiery light and falling down like a thunder. The blazing energy light instantly covered the bodies of these puppets whose armor had been shattered. The damaged and cracked outer armor is being repaired at a frightening speed. In front of the yellow-haired boy, the puppet whose armor was smashed by him also had a purple hot light falling down. But just when the ray of light was about to fall, spiral pills suddenly condensed in his hands, and he quickly pressed towards the ray of light, which actually hit the fiery purple ray of light directly. Don't even think about it. Helix pill. Boom. The light blue sphere and the purple fiery light collided instantly. Where the two collided, there was continuous purple energy overflowing, spreading everywhere like filaments. Feeling the power of the blazing light on the opposite side, the yellow-haired boy also kept calling the huge Chidunla in his body to rush into the spiral pill. After some constant consumption, the chakra power of both sides was slowly exhausted and dispersed. However, at this moment, a dark purple glow began to dance on the surrounding buildings. The blonde-haired boy raised his eyes and looked suspiciously at the purple rays of light. These things, are they the chakra power of the dragon veins? Could it be that these armored puppets can also use the chakra power of the dragon vein? His eyes were fixed on those puppets of armor that had been destroyed, and he could only see purple power emerging from the facial features of those puppets. There was even a cloud of flame-like faint purple in the eyes, which looked completely empty and ugly. Immediately, the dark purple fiery light appeared in the sky again, and they landed again. At this moment, the yellow-haired boy suddenly sensed the resonance of the dragon vein power on the armored puppet in front of him and the purple hot light. What is the situation? Lulin. The surrounding armored puppets and the fiery purple light constantly resonated. Under this force, the damaged outer armor was also being repaired continuously and quickly. The yellow-haired boy clenched his fists and looked at the strange scene in front of him. Although he did not have the same outstanding ability to analyze tasks as Kakashi-sensei, he was still able to make the most basic judgments about what was happening right now. He clasped his palms together again, and with a bang, two shadow clones appeared beside him. After one of the shadow clones appeared, it immediately rushed towards the puppet who was repairing its armor. But on the way, he was suddenly enveloped by the fiery purple light, and was blasted away immediately. And another shadow clone appeared behind the body of the yellow-haired boy. With the assistance of the shadow clone, it mobilized Chidunla and condensed ninjutsu again. Deus spiral pill. And the purple fiery light that was just about to change direction was already too late at this moment, and the huge light blue sphere like a meteorite had already crashed down. Boom. This time, the Deu Helix pill and the purple fiery light just stalemate for an instant, before smashing it to pieces. The technique of multiple shadow clones. Below, the blonde-haired boy clasped his palms together again, and suddenly hundreds of shadow clones appeared beside him. And because of the fluctuations here, the violent movement generated, resulting in continuous reinforcements from all directions with armored puppets. Hey! 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 Hundreds of shadow clones rushed out of each other, and a big battle broke out in this ancient building complex in an instant. On the other side, the yellow-haired boy retreated under the cover of the shadow clone, heading towards the place where he woke up when he came. His purpose is to find Centipede, not to waste time fighting these armored puppets. At the same time, in a magnificent building in Lulin, there is a figure wearing a black and white-sleeved robe. Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't expect that Konoha's kid would follow him into this era. He rested his palm on a thick stone pillar, closed his eyes, and slightly sensed the situation in Lulin. Hey, do you want to hide again? The black-robed man whispered again, and quickly formed seals with both hands. Around him, there are groups of thick stone pillars, and these stone pillars are exuding a dark purple fiery light, and gradually subtle lines begin to emerge from the stone pillars. 
After going on for a few minutes like this, the black-robed man dissipated the ninjutsu from his hands. That brat has disappeared. His face looked very surprised. You must know that he who can control the dragon veins can monitor the entire Lulin city at any time. And the power of the dragon veins was also distributed throughout the city by him. It is impossible for anyone to disappear from his surveillance. Unless Naruto Uzumaki, that little brat, he fled to a place where the power of the dragon's veins could not be affected or radiated. But in such a short period of time, even Lulin couldn't go out, so how did Uzumaki Naruto find a place where the dragon's veins didn't reach? Thinking of the imprisoned Her Majesty the Queen, the man in the black robe couldn't help but have a cold smile on his mouth, and his eyes radiated a cold light. It seems that you still hide a lot from me. Her Majesty the Queen. He did not expect that the dead Queen Lulin would hide such an important matter from him. There are still places in Lulin where the power of the dragon veins can reach and cannot be touched. Since there are places that cannot be affected, then I will simply spread the power of the entire dragon vein to the city. At this moment, a stone pillar erected around the black-robed man suddenly shone with a dark purple fiery light. Seeing this, he stepped forward, formed a mudra with his hands, and leaned his arms against it. Another three strange chakras. Who will it be? After a while, he moved his arm away from the stone pillar, and the man in black frowned slightly, thinking about it. Suddenly, a look of fear appeared in his eyes. This, the timeline of this era, could it be, the one who sealed the dragon veins? Who? 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 The wind and sand swept by the strong wind hit the sand wall outside the cave wantonly, and the sound produced was like the howling of a devil. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. In the dry and tidy cave, Yamato's figure was lying on a small bed made of gravel, safe and sound. He opened his eyes in a daze, looking at the strange ceiling, light yellow sand wall, above, Yamato lay there in a daze for a while. Ah, this yellow ceiling, could it be that Naruto and I were rescued by Sakura and Sai? Suddenly, as if waking up in an instant, he took out the kanai from the ninja bag, squatted halfway on the gravel bed, and was alert to everything around him. At the same time, Yamato's other hand has already started to form seals. As long as the enemy is found, the ninjutsu will be released immediately. The eyes scanned the surrounding environment vigilantly, the burning firewood and flames were directly ahead, and some simple and ordinary food and dry food were scattered in the corner. From the cave outside, there was a constant sound of wind and sand, like demons gathering and crying. The inside of the cave is very dry and tidy, with the faint smell of barbecue lingering on the tip of the nose. On the bed made of gravel under him, his personal belongings were neatly placed. After confirming that there was no danger, Yamato's expression relaxed a little, and he stretched out his hand to keep all his personal belongings on the bed close to him. Then, he reached out to touch his chest, wanting to make sure that the photo he kept close to him was still there. Huh, where's the picture? Yamato frantically tossed the green vest on his chest, constantly looking for the photos that he kept on his heart. He left that photo on purpose, even Kakashi Senpei was on it, it is a very precious thing. Are you looking for this photo? At this moment, a voice suddenly came from not far away from him. The moment Yamato heard the voice, he held Kanai tightly and looked up vigilantly. I saw two figures quietly leaning against the light yellow sand wall behind them, looking calmly at the vigilant Yamato in front of them, and said repeatedly. Are you looking for this photo? and the photo he was looking for was being held between two fingers by one of them. When Yamato's eyes moved up along the photo, after seeing one of the silver-haired dead fish eyes, his pupils shrank suddenly, and he murmured in shock. Ka, Kaka, Senior Kakashi. What, what's going on, why did Senior Kakashi suddenly appear here, isn't he recuperating in Konoha Hospital? Difficult. Could it be that Kakashi Senpei in front of him is an enemy pretending to be? Yamato looked blankly at Kakashi who was not far away, and after a while, a look of vigilance reappeared in his eyes. Put your hands vigilantly in front of you to form a seal. Who the hell are you? Why are you pretending to be Kakashi Senpei? Sure enough, the Kakashi Senpei in front of him was pretended by the enemy, and Kakashi Senpei was an old man who had grown up. And the one in front of him looks very similar, but it is clearly Kakashi Senpei in his childhood. Kakashi who embraced his hands and leaned against the sand wall, tilted his head, his eyes were puzzled, and he complained. Huh, 
Why am I pretending to be myself? After all, Kakashi stood up calmly under Yamato's vigilant eyes, took a few steps forward, and continued. Besides, you are really suspicious. You actually know my name. Also, why do you call me senior? Where did you get this photo? Hearing a series of questioning voices from the man pretending to be Kakashi's senior, Yamato didn't answer, but released the ninjutsu that had been prepared. Wood Dungeon Silent Killing and Binding Technique I saw that several thick wooden sticks appeared on the ground in an instant, bound towards Kakashi and Setsuna Hayuga. Wood Escape Kakashi, pay attention to avoid. When the wooden sticks suddenly appeared, Kakashi's eyes were shocked. However, after Hanada Setsuna reminded him in time, he also waved the snow in his hand and cut off the wooden sticks with a few swipes. Hey, who are you? Why the wooden escape of the first generation of adults? Jumping around, Kakashi returned to Hanada Setsuna, looking at Yamato solemnly. This guy is really too suspicious. Don't say why, but he appeared in the desert of wind and sand for no reason. Just saying that he owns the mudden exclusive to the first generation of adults is enough to be suspicious. Yamato in the distance still didn't answer the questions of the two of them, and continued to make seals with both hands, preparing to kill the two of them pretending to be Konoha first, and then question the situation carefully. Seeing this scene, Kakashi held Yukashiro tightly, and when he was about to go forward to fight, Hinata Setsuna reached out and grabbed him. Kakashi, leave it to me. Hearing this, Kakashi was taken aback for a moment, then silently nodded in agreement. The current situation is indeed suitable for Setsuna Hayuga, who is stronger than him, to make a move. Looking at Setsuna Hayuga approaching not far away, Yamato snorted coldly and said. Even the children of the Hinata family are pretending to be. Let me catch the two of you and interrogate slowly. After all, Yamato immediately began to make seals with both hands. And Hinata Setsuna sneered, and assumed the soft fist posture that Yamato was familiar with. Yamato, who was forming a seal, was stunned when he saw this posture, and his hands, which were forming a seal, also stopped. This is the secret of the soft fist. Could it be? Could it be that the two people on the opposite side are really Kakashi Senpei and the Hinata family's seniors? As for why Kakashi Senpei and the Hayuga family's seniors became like this, he didn't think too much about it, he just regarded it as their special hobby. Thinking of this, Yamato's eyes flashed with surprise, just when he was about to explain out loud that it was a misunderstanding. A faint voice came from beside his ear. Soft boxing method Bagua 64 palms. After hearing these words, Yamato suddenly felt that he was locked in by an invisible wave. It happened. Senior Kakashi, this senior of the Hinata family, all this is a misunderstanding. Yamato looked flustered and hurriedly explained, but unfortunately, it was too late. I saw, a small white and delicate palm landed on his face with a slap, it was the first palm of 64's palm. And next, he has to face the remaining 63 palms. Two palms. Four palms. Eight palms. Sixteen palms. Thirty-two palms. Sixty-four palms. Looking at the countless palm shadows that hit the sky, Yamato had a look of hopelessness on his face. In the end, he could only look desperate and explain weakly. All this is really a misunderstanding. Seniors. Bang. 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 Snapped. A wave of dust mixed with yellow sand and gravel was raised on the light yellow ground. Yamato, with a bruised nose and swollen face, was tightly bound by ropes, and even the chakra in his body was sealed by Hinata Setsuna's acupressure. Now he is truly miserable. And Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi were leisurely sitting aside, eating the delicious barbecue that had already been cooked. Hinata Setsuna didn't, he stretched out the pole on which the barbecue was hanging, dangled it in front of Yamato's nose, and moved it mercilessly when he wanted to eat. In other words, you have traveled from the future era to this era through the chakra power of the dragon veins. After eating and drinking, Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi came to Yamato and interrogated him. On the other hand, Yamato looked longingly at the remaining delicious barbecue. He really didn't eat any food from yesterday to now, and he was even beaten just now. His stomach was also rumbling again, and he could only answer weakly. Yes. From the conversation between Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi just now, he also learned that he probably came to this era with the help of dragon veins. It's no wonder that Kakashi Senpei and this Hayuga family's senior are so young, 
because in this era, their ages are so young, and the current time is also the Chunin exam time. If I had reacted earlier just now, I wouldn't have been beaten for nothing. Roughly confirmed, there is no problem with your identity. We won't ask too much about the future and the wooden escape on your body. After all, Hinata Setsuna looked at Kakashi who was aside, and motioned for him to help Yamato untie the rope. In fact, he knows all these things clearly, but he can't pretend that he is very familiar with them. After being untied from the rope, Yamato looked at Setsuna Hinata, and said falteringly. Uh, this, this senior from the Hinata family, can you help me untie the chakra acupuncture points? Don't call me senior, just call me Setsuna Hinata. As soon as the words fell, Hinata suddenly came to Yamato, with chakra flames ignited in both hands, and quickly lit the chakra acupuncture points all over his body. Yamato felt his chakra acupoints that had been unlocked, and looked at Setsuna Hinata gratefully. No, here you are, it looks like you must have been hungry for a long time. At this time, Kakashi held the skewered barbecue in his hand and handed it to Yamato. After receiving the barbecue from Kakashi, Yamato's expression suddenly became tearful. Unexpectedly, such a bad Kakashi senpai was so heartwarming when he was a child. It was so good. Come on. The sweeping sound of the wind and sand desert resounded on this barren desert plain like howling ghosts and wolves. And in a cave covered by dry grass, a warm flame is burning. Crackling. Crackling. In the cave, three figures were chatting among them, but one of them was rather weird, and his face looked a bit bruised and swollen. Is it because you were chasing that guy Beizu, after arriving in Lulin, you traveled here because of the dragon's veins? Yes. And that dragon vein is the source of the huge amount of chakra underground in Lulin, right? Then who else traveled to this era with you? Hearing Hinata Setsuna's question, Yamato also put down the delicious barbecue in his hand, recalled what happened before, and said. During our hunt, only Naruto and I were enveloped by that huge beam of energy. So the one who came to this era with me must be Naruto. Hearing this, Kakashi, who was adding firewood to the fire, also asked curiously. Naruto. Who is he? Um, he is your future student Kakashi Senpei. Yamato scratched his hair, thinking of Naruto Uzumaki's usual appearance, he couldn't help answering with some embarrassment. Looking at the suddenly embarrassed Yamato, Kakashi said strangely. What's wrong? Is he very naughty? Yamato didn't answer him, just kept silent. Seeing Yamato's appearance, Kakashi's eyes also flashed a look of surprise. Probably, the guy named Naruto in the future should be a very unexpected and mischievous student. After a while, Yamato felt the silence in the air, and tried hard to change the subject. Senior Kakashi and Senior Setsuna, why did you appear in the desert of wind and sand? Is it on a mission? Don't you know? We are here to take the Chunin exam. Chunin exam. Hearing Hinata Setsuna's answer, Yamato's expression changed suddenly, and he shouted loudly. Looking at Yamato who suddenly yelled loudly, Hinata Setsuna asked thoughtfully. What's the matter, didn't you hold this Chunin exam in your era in the past? Da calmed down his cramped breathing, kept calming himself down, and said. Senior Setsuna, Senior Kakashi, can you tell me about the process of the Chunin exam? Hearing this, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi looked at each other, and told Yamato the beginning of the Chunin exam held this time. In the process of narrating, Yamato's expression also became more and more dignified. After a while, after Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi finished talking, Yamato said with a solemn face and a bitter voice. Senior Setsuna, Senior Kakashi, I don't seem to have gone back to the past, but traveled to a parallel world. In my world, there has never been a Chunin exam held by the four major ninja villages at this time. Hearing this, Kakashi's expression was startled. If it is a parallel world, then the histories of the two sides are completely different. Maybe people who exist in this world don't exist in that world at all. On the other hand, Setsuna Hayuga sank his mind, came to the restricted space, found his grandmother, and asked in a concentrated voice. Grandma, did Yamato really come from a parallel world? If Yamato really came from a parallel world, then the chakra power of Ryomai is very important to Setsuna Hayuga. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya spoke out after being silent for a moment. The concubine doesn't know. 
This human being does have the power of time and space, but I can't use this to accurately judge whether he comes from another parallel world. If parallel worlds really exist, Otsutsuki Kegaya felt that after breaking through the seal and re-ruling the ninja world, he would definitely go to another world to take a look. See if the self in that world was also sealed by the two evil sons. Of course, it would be even better if there was a childlike Setsuna in that world. Hee hee, when the time comes, the two moments will be beside my concubine. Looking at the grandmother who was caught in wild thoughts, Hinata Setsuna sighed helplessly, turned and left the confined space. Opening his eyes, looking at Yamato who was in self-doubt, Hinata Setsuna confirmed to him. Yamato, do I exist in that world? Senior Setsuna. Hearing Hinata Setsuna's question, Yamato was stunned for a moment, and then carefully recalled the Konoha village at that time. After a while, he uttered two words with difficulty. No. After saying these two words, Yamato hurriedly made amends. It's also possible that I'm ignorant, and I haven't heard much about your reputation, senior. Hearing this, Setsuna Hayuga understood everything, the world in Yamato should be the Hokage world described by A.B. And after Hanada Setsuna figured all this out, the golden forbidden power that had been sleeping in his body suddenly jumped quietly. Then, without anyone noticing, he slowly fell asleep again. Kakashi on the side said with an unbelievable expression after hearing Yamato's answer. How is it possible, Mingming Setsuna and I are twin stars called Konoha, why not? Is it really a parallel world? As his words fell, the cave fell into an atmosphere of silence. Hey! Hey! Outside Lulin's hexagonal-shaped building, two figures wearing animal masks suddenly appeared. When the two really saw the whole picture of this ancient country, they were both very shocked. A moment later, Namikaze Minato's eyes flickered slightly, and then his eyes suddenly looked at the ground. This energy is the so-called dragon bane, right? Shia, you should check it with parasites. There was a bit of surprise in Namikaze Minato's voice, he had quite a lot of chakra. But if compared with this huge energy permeating the entire Lulin ancient country, it is simply nothing. Jia on the side also nodded slightly. He bent down and stretched out his finger. A pitch black bug flew out of his sleeve and sank into the ground. After a while, the pitch black bug flew out of the ground again and returned to his finger. Zimi narrowed his eyes and said with a frown. There seems to be something wrong with the power of the dragon veins here. Hearing this, Minato Namikaze beside him immediately closed his eyes, clasped his hands together, and inexplicable power emerged around his body. The free natural energy in the air began to gather on him continuously, and he had a deep perception of the dragon's veins underneath. Not long after, Namikaze Minato opened his eyes suddenly. Someone is using the power of dragon veins to perceive us, Shia, he is about to block his chakra fluctuations. Hearing this, Zimi nodded, and then formed a mudra with both hands, and began to restrain his chakra fluctuations. I didn't expect to be discovered just after entering Lulin. Namikaze Minato's eyes were solemn. He never thought that someone could use the power of dragon veins to perceive the whole city without distinction. In this way, no matter how clever and powerful the spy ninja is, as long as he does not understand the situation and environment here, he will be noticed by the person who manipulates the power of the dragon vein the moment he steps into Lulin City. Come to think of it, the one who is now manipulating the power of the dragon vein is the minister and Lucian described in the mission information sent by the third Hokage. People from the future, centipedes. Unexpectedly, he had already mastered the power of the dragon veins. Thinking of this, Namikaze Minato turned to look at Shia and said. Since we have been discovered, then the other party should have taken precautions. Next we have to be careful. GMI nodded slightly, the figures of the two moved slightly, and disappeared in place in an instant. After an hour or two. Lulin is so big, why didn't even a single person show up? On the rooftop of the magnificent building, Shia spoke with a doubtful tone, looking at the empty city below. The two of them had just conducted some investigation here, but apart from the guard puppets wearing special armor, there was no one there. Minato Namikaze lowered his eyes slightly, observing the groups of armored guard puppets patrolling below with a solemn expression. As far as he knows, although Lulin is a country, they don't have a very formal force setup, let alone the armored puppets that look like they came from ninjas. 
What's more, the patrol routes of these armored puppets seem to be walking indiscriminately, without any wisdom at all. But in fact, they are constantly wandering and patrolling around the ruins here. What puzzled Namikaze Minato the most was that he and Shimi should have been discovered by Beizu or in Lucian from the moment they entered Lulin. However, those armored puppets had no intention of looking for the two of them. And this made Namikaze Minato's heart more and more heavy. In this seemingly peaceful ancient country, what kind of terrorist plan Momozuki is brewing? Meanwhile, on the other side, in a slightly dilapidated room in Lulin, Bayou frowned and looked at a mass of purple ashes on the ground beside her. This guy, what happened to the dark purple power on his body just now? Just now, after she sneaked into Lulin through the escape, this middle-aged man was being chased by several puppet guards in armor. And Bayou also rescued him from those armored puppet guards, hoping to get some information from him. But unexpectedly, after this guy entered this room, a ball of dark purple energy similar to flame suddenly appeared in his eye sockets, and then he burned himself to death within a few breaths. After taking a last look at the purple ashes on the ground, Bayou turned around and left the room, then flashed towards other places in Lulin again. In the following period of time, she explored Lulin for a long time again, but she still didn't get anything. Bayou squatted on the window of a building, staring coldly at the empty ghost town in front of her. Where did that Bezu guy hide? Logically speaking, Bayou's blood successor's boundary transparency can be easily achieved as an invasion to obtain information. However, in this deserted Lulin city, her blood inheritance boundary is useless instead. Crack. Crack. At this moment, a light yellow flying puppet suddenly appeared in the sky, and when it glanced at Bayou's figure, it was shot by a purple hot beam of light. It's these guys again, how did they find me so quickly? Bayou jumped up, avoiding the fiery purple beam of light, and looked at the flying armor puppet chasing her suspiciously. Obviously before, she had already used the transparent escape to hide her figure and left, why did these puppets find them so quickly? What the hell is going on with these puppets? Constantly dodging the oncoming purple beam of light, Bayou made seals with her hands. Shadow clone technique. Boom. A shadow clone suddenly appeared beside her, waving a dagger in his hand and entangled the chasing flying puppet. Bayou took the opportunity to hide her figure and left here quickly. Sure enough, after she cast the transparency and disappeared, the puppet just chased after the shadow clone, and didn't find Bayou who left invisibly not far away. And the reason why he found her so quickly just now is because he got rid of two done. Susu Lala. Susu Lala. A pair of clean, white and greasy little hands stretched out from behind a pile of messy hay, and pushed aside the hay that blocked the front of the cave. Looking at the wind and sand desert where the sun was rising again, Hinata turned his head to look at the two people in the cave. The drastic changes in the weather have stopped for a while, and we can set off for Lulin now. Coming outside the cave, Yamato looked nervously at Setsuna Hinata and said. Senior Setsuna, if you don't continue to take the Chunin exam, there is really no big problem. Hey, we are not nervous, why are you nervous? On the side, before Hinata Setsuna answered, Kakashi was the first to complain to Yamato. Hearing Kakashi's complaints, Yamato's expression suddenly collapsed, and he looked at him with resentment. Sure enough, the warm-hearted senior Kakashi who delivered the barbecue last night was a fake. The bad attitude now is almost the same as when he grew up. It's okay, anyway, this Chunin exam has been destroyed by those guys. Besides, there was a notice on the Heaven and Earth scroll, saying that the Chunin exam has been cancelled. With a warm smile on his face, Hinata explained to Yamato. In fact, even if the Chunin exam is still going on, he will choose to go to Lulin without hesitation. Join, if the dragon veins in Lulin's underground can really communicate with the parallel world, then its importance will be obvious. Hearing this, Yamato didn't hesitate anymore, and turned his head and said to the two of them cautiously. Then, let me lead the way to Lulin. After the voice fell, the figures of the three disappeared immediately. Clap. Clap. Hey, why does this place look like a ruin? The figure of the blonde-haired boy appeared in the ruins of the Lulin building, looking at everything around him curiously. He had never imagined that there would be such a ruined and dilapidated place in such a magnificent and ancient Lulin kingdom. At this moment, a sweet singing voice suddenly resounded in the ruined building. 
The veins of the dragon that must be guarded. Shoot with a white blade, look up at the sky. Desert and storm are coming together. Oh brilliant sun. Flowers fly away. Inheriting the light in the spiral realm. The moment he heard the singing, the boy with yellow hair was immediately attracted, and his figure quickly moved towards the place where the singing came from. After walking a few steps forward, I saw a red-haired girl sitting on a stone pillar, with tears slowly streaming from her eyes, singing a song with a sad expression. Ah Nuo, are you all right? The blonde-haired boy scratched his hair and looked at the sad girl. And the red-haired girl sitting on the stone pillar suddenly looked up when she heard the voice, and after realizing that it was a stranger she didn't know, she immediately jumped off the stone pillar and ran outside. Wait, I'm not a bad person. Seeing the red-haired girl leaving suddenly, he hurriedly chased after her. After passing through a stone gate, the yellow-haired boy looked in surprise at the two armored puppets in windbreakers standing in front of the girl. This is a puppet. Before the yellow-haired boy could continue to be surprised, the two armored puppets immediately raised their hands, and purple power appeared at the joints, attached to Kanai, and shot towards him. Looking at the dragon vein Kanai that was shooting towards him, the yellow-haired boy immediately jumped back to hide. Husband. And the shot Kanai did not continue to stab the yellow-haired boy, but was embedded in the opening of the stone gate, relying on the power of the dragon vein, drove a dark purple door, blocking him from the door. At the same time, the two armored puppets also took advantage of this opportunity to take the red-haired girl away from here. Looking at the girl who was about to be taken away, the yellow-haired boy looked anxious, and immediately rubbed his other hand continuously, forming a light blue sphere, and smashed it towards the purple door blocking in front of him. Spiral pills. Boom. The moment the light blue sphere collided with the purple door, an extremely violent rebound force instantly sent the blonde-haired boy flying out. And after the yellow-haired boy was bounced away, the dark purple door also slowly disappeared, as if the energy had been exhausted. In the entrance of the stone gate, the two armored puppets finally left here with the red-haired girl. Moreover, three stone gates suddenly emerged from the entrance of the cave, directly blocking the entrance of the cave instantly. What the hell is going on with that girl? Why are those puppets protecting her? Does she have anything to do with that Bezu? The blonde-haired boy got up from the ground and looked anxiously at the stone door blocking the entrance of the cave. Seeing that he couldn't catch up, the yellow-haired boy got up and kept jumping towards the surrounding stone walls. He was going outside to continue investigating the situation. It would be even better if we could find that red-haired girl again. Leaping away from the underground ruins of Lulin, he stood on the top of a hexagonal building. At this time, in a building similar to a sacred church in the west, the red-haired girl who had just been protected by a puppet was kneeling quietly in front of a huge throne. Looking at the huge throne not far in front of her, the girl whispered sadly. Mother mother. It seems that the voice of my mother teaching her and the sound of Lulin's song when she was alive can be heard constantly in my ears. Sarah, one day, you must use this song to bring happiness and peace to the people of this country. Thinking of her mother's usual teachings, Sarah couldn't help but shed sad tears again in the corners of her eyes. Mother, Sarah misses you so much, misses you so much. Crack. At this time, the sound of the rear door being opened was heard in the building. A man in a white robe, with a tall white hat on his head, and a brown beard and hair on his face walked in kindly. Master Sarah, what are you doing here? The people outside are all eagerly waiting to praise your great achievements. In praise of this beautiful and peaceful country created by you and your mother. Please stand in front of your people and show your smile. Master Sarah, you must replace your mother to lead these subjects. Sarah, who was kneeling in front of the throne, wiped the tears from the corners of her eyes, forced herself to smile and said. I understand, Minister and Lucian. After that, she trotted all the way to the outside, she wanted to lead Lulin's subjects with the best spirit. This is her duty as Queen of Lulin. And behind her, and Lucian in the palace looked at Sarah who was leaving very calmly. Outside, there are various cheers, and strange style pottery pots and balloons are dancing in the sky. The salutes used during the festival, at this time, are continuously lifted into the air and exploded, as if celebrating today's beautiful day. My Lady Queen, My Lady Queen, there were constant shouts of singing and joy, which sounded from the crowd gathered below. Hey! Hey! 
The figure of the blonde-haired boy jumped on top of the hexagonal building, and various cheers kept coming from his ears. Soon, he came to the shadow of a building, carefully poked his head, looked down, and his pupils couldn't help shrinking. How is it possible, when I came here before, there was no one here? Why? Dot why, so many popped up all of a sudden. If only Kakashi Sensei was here. He also came here when he was investigating before, but obviously there was no one there just now. At this moment, on the tall building where all the people were looking up at, the huge door was slowly opened, and three figures slowly walked out of it. That's it. No, this is the girl from before and the two puppets. She is actually her lady queen. Looking at the figure walking out of the door, the yellow-haired boy stared blankly at Sarah who was dressed up at the moment. At this time, Sarah looks very dazzling, confident, generous and beautiful. As for the subjects below, the moment Sarah appeared, the cheers reached their peak in an instant. Master Sarah. My lady queen. Master Sarah. On the tall building, Sarah also had a confident and beautiful smile on her face, waving her hands, facing the welcoming subjects below. The blonde-haired boy who was hiding in the shadows and peeping came back to his senses, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. If you go to her later, you may be able to ask about the current situation here. Although Sarah was protected by puppets, he was still confident that he could find Sarah quietly and ask about the specific situation. On the tall building, a pair of hands full of thick calluses suddenly pushed Sarah's body, and her body immediately took a few steps forward involuntarily. Just as Sarah stumbled to the fence of the tall building, the ground suddenly collapsed. And her figure suddenly fell down. Woo! Sarah, who was dancing, let out piercing screams, and kept waving her hands, trying to grab things around her and stop herself from falling. But here is tens of meters high, there is nothing for him to grab. Looking at the approaching ground below, Sarah's eyes were full of panic. In the shadow not far away, the yellow-haired boy saw this scene, and immediately ran towards the falling Sarah. The Chidunla in his body was mobilized, attached to his feet, and jumped out. Boom! Sarah's soft body immediately slammed into the embrace of the yellow-haired boy. After successfully receiving Sarah in the princess's arms, the yellow-haired boy immediately continued to jump and fell towards the shadow on the ground not far away. Clap! As soon as he landed on the ground, the blonde-haired boy also heaved a sigh of relief, looking at Sarah who was quietly waiting to die in his arms, he said with a smile. It's all right. And Sarah, whose eyes were tightly closed in his arms, opened her eyes cautiously after feeling that she was not dead. When she saw that it was the yellow-haired boy hugging her, Sarah immediately let out a deer-like exclamation. At the same time, he immediately stretched out his delicate and white palm, and slapped the yellow-haired boy's face continuously. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Let go of me, you rude person. After finishing speaking, Sarah raised her elbow decisively, and hit the yellow-haired boy hard on the face. Feeling the numbness and pain on his face, the blonde-haired boy immediately let go of his embrace. After leaving his embrace, Sarah immediately moved back, keeping a relatively safe distance, her hands covering her chest, and looking at the blonde-haired boy in front of her vigilantly. What are you doing? I just saved you. Touching the slap marks on his face, the yellow-haired boy's eyes flashed with pain, and he kept complaining. After hearing that he saved her, Sarah was stunned for a moment, and then thanked him in a standard Japanese kneeling posture. Huh. Did you save me? Well, thank you. Sarah thanked him with a bit of embarrassment, just now she slapped someone several times. The blonde-haired boy rubbed the slap marks on his face, looked at Sarah, and asked. Are you the queen here? Yes, I am the queen of Lulin, Sarah. Lulin. This is Lulin. Hearing this, the yellow-haired boy immediately yelled and looked at Sarah in disbelief. Sarah looked at him strangely and said. Yes, this is Lulin. How is it possible, Lulin was still in ruins before. What are you talking about, how could Lulin turn into ruins? Lulin was inherited from my mother, a country that is more important than life. Hearing the words of the yellow-haired boy, Sarah retorted with dissatisfaction. Even if you saved yourself, you can't say such exaggerated words. Hey, you haven't introduced yourself yet. As the queen, I have already introduced myself. If you don't say it, it's too bad. 
Hearing Sarah's words, the yellow-haired boy barely suppressed the absurdity and disbelief in his heart, sat cross-legged on the ground, and said with a smile on his face. By the way, I am Uzumaki Naruto, the ninja of Konoha village. On the other side, in the shadow of the high-rise building, and Lucian's mouth formed a strange smile, recalling the blonde-haired boy who appeared just now. It's that Brad Uzumaki Naruto, let me prepare the welcome ceremony for you to come down to Lulin. After all, a few tiny chakra threads appeared in Lucian's hands, they were extremely slender, and he didn't know where they were leading. After his hands shook slightly for a while, the armored puppet guards hidden in the dark immediately took action. Looking at the armor puppets he made, Lucian smiled excitedly. Go, go and bring Uzumaki Naruto back. Crack, crack. In the shadow of the building on the ground, Naruto Uzumaki and Sarah were still discussing why she was pushed down from the tall building, completely unaware that the danger was approaching. Boom. Boom. In the sky above the two people's buildings, there was a sudden rumbling sound, accompanied by Kanai and Yuzi's fiery beams of light. These puppets are coming soon. As soon as the words fell, Naruto Uzumaki immediately ignored Sarah's struggle, hugged her, and jumped towards the building not far away. After coming to a safe place, he put down the struggling Sarah, and Naruto Uzumaki quickly formed a seal with his hands. Multiple Shadow Clone Technique Accompanied by the whirlwind of white smoke, hundreds of shadow clones appeared beside him, fighting with the armored puppets who came. Lulin, which was already very lively, became even more lively now. Boom. Hey, Sarah, aren't you the queen here, can't you order these puppets to stop? Uzumaki Naruto who was fighting fiercely with the puppet, took advantage of the gap in the battle and shouted to Sarah who was covering her ears not far away. And Sarah had a look of fear on her face, shrank her body, and hid in a corner, not answering his question. Suddenly, an armored puppet with a purple light emitting from its body directly abandoned the shadow clone that was fighting with it, and attacked Sarah who was hiding. There are faint purple rays of light floating out from the bodies of other puppets and merging into its weapons. And without the purple light as an energy source, those puppets collapsed to the ground in an instant. It happened. Sarah, get out of here. Looking at the purple light aimed at Sarah, Naruto Uzumaki shouted in a panic. He wanted to rush over to help, but was blocked by puppets continuously, and the remaining shadow clones were also continuously scattered by puppets pouring in from all directions in the sky. You guys, get the hell out of here. Seeing that Sarah was about to be hit by the beam of light, Naruto Uzumaki's pupils suddenly turned into scarlet vertical pupils, and a large number of Chatanla gathered in his right hand. Boom. The violent sound of the explosion suddenly sounded. Uzumaki Naruto not far away was staring forward with a dull expression. I saw a yellow figure appearing in front of Sarah, and the purple beam of light blasting towards her suddenly appeared on the hexagonal ancient building in the distance. With a sun-like smile on Namikaze Minato's face, he looked at Naruto Uzumaki who was staring blankly at him, and said softly. Am I late? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.